gonna talk about villains in movies. We're gonna talk about them and we're gonna say how good they really are. Cause bad guys make every movie better now. Yeah. What up, bro? Hola. How you doing, my friend? Just very good. Welcome. Welcome. To Welcome. the Googles of beer. The Googles of beer. Double, double E. Double O. Double G. Someone's phone is ringing. And someone's vibrating on Some, me. Whoa, somebody. No, I, was <laughs> good, I almost said it. So, <laughs> I'm going to say know. it. Somebody brought their vibrator into the podcast recording studio. Nope, it's off. Oh, uh, it just. Oh, it almost worked. <laughs> I thought it would be vibrating through the microphone. It would have been if you didn't touch the button. It's it's one from the parents. Uh, Funny that you mentioned. It's the funny that phone. my mom called me six times today and your parents <laughs> called just now. And I'm like, oh boy, I think I sent that. You know, it sucks because we talk about sending those signals out there. So I, I'm so, so that's I totally my fault. That's that's on me, dude. I apologize <laughs> inc- so profusely for that. Yeah, but if we didn't have that therapy session on the couch before we started, we we wouldn't be talking right now, bro. Yeah, bro. So it's all good. Goats my goats, bro. It's, it, it's full. It all comes back around. Yes. It's karma. Yeah. So so welcome everybody. Jace. To the Beer Googles. Bienvenidos. Yes. Um happy uh, shared birthday, sir. What it's up? officially, officially our, shared our shared birthday. This will be probably we're probably a month in arrears on, yeah. on episodes from and Also, happy Microbes Bro Day. Microbes Bro Day. Also, we also released our uh Mars. Get your ass episode. to Mars. Get your ass to Mars or get your rust to Mars. That's is, correct. I thought that is a catchy catchy phrase i love it i sent it to him he said he loved it apparently so get your rust to moss i love your rust to moss or something i I dig it a lot so uh welcome happy birthday happy to you also to champion i think that's going to be one of our first t-shirts we're going to put out on our merch things yeah hashtag micros bro bro. big bro on the back caps all caps get your rust to moss Get your ass to Mars. You know what? That would be a good one. Get your is, ass is to Get Mars. your ass to Mars copyrighted, trademarked. I, I would think it definitely is like a phrase that Karolko would come in and go, bro, we we came with that like 20 some years ago. How and I go, yeah, it? but you made, a, you made a retread of a movie that wasn't even close to the same and you used Colin Farrell. So It's a good movie, but they shouldn't have it called is. it Total they Recall. They should not have called it Total Recall. I think we talked about this before. Also, he's a bad, good bad guy. The bad guy in that. Who, who's he, that? he was the bad guy in the Indiana Jones thing. We talked about him before. Oh, the yeah, original yeah, yeah. Total Recall. Yeah, and then Cole Brian Hagen. Cranston. You know, it's funny because like Brian Cranston is a bad guy I like, but I just like him as an actor. I just like yeah, I he's like him. Great. I like him more as Walter White because he plays that. Well, yeah. Well, he does bad things, but it's not like always from the side of bad. Like uh, side of bad, he's that anti-hero. He's the, right? the one who knocks. Yeah. So, sir, what are we talking about today? The greatest movie villains of all time. Nice. And, and how many? How many do we get each? Dos. Two. Two. Okay. Jace. So we're starting to whittle these down because we, you know, we can go eight hours. Well, uh, I also, you, we also. Tambien. Also Tambien. Or Tambien. <laughs> Tambien. Two. Uh, took many surveys. So we have many reports back from many people we across do. the country. But I've heard we have some crossovers. Oh, uh, there are many crossovers. How, what's the highest, did you count any, any idea off the top of your head, the, the highest, most popular one? Probably four. Four or five. Four or five. Okay. And, and I you got, asked like 10, I, 15 people? I got about 14 responses, I think. Nice. Yeah. I only this, got two. Well, and, and you, only, you only asked and two people. Two. I, well, I did only ask two people. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm, I got I to gotta set all this stuff you up. Asked, you got to do the other stuff. Didn't you ask some other people too? Like no. you got, So you got like four responses. I got, I, got two, I got four total responses, two of two each. So my Can coworker got people? two. No. I just asked Megzi and my coworker Rob. Okay. So Rob, Rob's got a shout out today for yeah. the first time, I think. Hockey Rob. He's going to share. He is Hockey Rob. Yeah. How's Bean's sister? Yeah, how is Bean's sister doing? That's a total inside joke that no one's laughing right now. This is what we're hearing. I think that's what we're just going to assume she's still hot. If she, it depends if she popped out kids or not, I guess. I guess you can get, still be a hot mom. Yeah. Duh. Hey, hello to the world. Are there hot moms out there? I say yes. Obviously. Um, and there's probably some villain mothers, too, like that became parents. Yeah. The villain fathers. Didn't somebody rock the cradle? Do you think that Dr. Evil was a good villain? Yeah. Because he had Scotty lasers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That one just popped into my head, and I didn't even think about him. But he's a good villain. He's a fun villain. Yeah. And gold, gold, 
Gold! One for the skin box. Oh, that's a bang in a blinch. Smoke in a pancake. pancake. Oh, that's a keeper. We One say that every box. time we go golfing. That's beautiful. Because we Which also bang say in a blinch or smoke the, whole, the whole scene. Because at the end of it, we add, if you don't hit the green, we say, chip in a putt. <laughs> so we say, bang in a blinch, pop in a pancake, drop in a waffle. Smoke in a pancake. Smoke in a pancake, chip in a putt. I like chip and putt. Chip and a putt. That's about the best golf that I can play is chip and putt. Those chip and a putt. par three chip and putts. Yeah. Where you get like a, what, a seven iron is like your longest. If, if you uh, if you want to bump and run it, yeah. Or you get a wedge <laughs> and you just try to. Just wedge the shit out of it. I yeah. get a wedgie. Wedgie. In my underwear. All up in there. I still wear tidy whiteies, but well, they're no. colored. Oh, dude. Well, they're color, So they're not brown. Like blue. What? They're like, yeah, blue red. They're, so they're tidy really, blueies. Yeah, they're tidy other colors. <laughs> they're tidy others. Why are we talking about chonies, dude? Wedges, wedgies. Okay. We went from seven irons to pitching wedges to wedgie in my underwear. I, that's how my brain works, everybody. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can laugh Please now. Please press the cricket button again. No, no, I, we're done. We're, we're done, done with, the, with the crickets. Yeah, everyone's laughing right now. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so funny. <laughs> so we got villains. No, no, they're, okay. no, it's not funny. Oh, all right. So how much scouring did you do trying to figure this stuff out? Uh, I, I, I didn't. I... I wrote down my list of about six or seven and then I did one, I did Google and I clicked on one article that put down the top 50, top 20 villains. And, uh, I, I was disgusted that Kylo Ren was on the list and I went, no, he's a little douche. Absolutely not. like a whiny bitch. Exactly. Like, dude, oh, grandfather, I have sand in my vagina. Please help me. You can no. almost like Palpatine twice. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, it's disgusting. I I like Adam Driver. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I I loved him in Logan Lucky, where he was missing an arm. If no one's seen Logan Lucky, that is a phenomenal movie. Daniel uh, the Lewis. James Bond. No, the other guy, Craig. <laughs> Daniel Craig's in it. Daniel Day Lewis milkshake. He plays some pretty fucking bad guys too. Um, but Daniel Craig's in it from the James Bond guy, and he does like a good Southern accent. Like kind of like his knives out accent, yeah, really well done. And Adam Driver's in it, and um, uh, the guy with the funky ears that was stripped in front of people, he had magic. Uh, Channing Channing Tatum, Tatum Boulevard, Channing Tatum's in it too. He's got a weird trolley face. His face looks like a troll. That's my that's my. I don't Deutsch think mark. I need to be here for this. No, his face looks like a troll. Okay, he looks like a troll, but he has a very nice body, and he takes his clothes off. He's Magic Tatum. He's Magic. He's Magic Channing. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, okay, that's enough of that. German Mark's going to be put on the shelf right now. We'll box him away. Every time I move in this chair, my hip pops. What? So thank God I'm officially old. And it's like a Captain Kirk chair, too. Yes. You look like the captain of the USS Enterprise. Some ship. I'm not sure <laughs> which one. I am the captain of my own shit. Whatever it takes. So, we have villains. So, we're going to go through our people first, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so I scoured the fucking internet. I got 25 best, 28, 40, blah, blah, blah. And I will tell you that many people's, even on the internets, the webs of the inters, they're all over the place about good bad guys. There are maybe a handful to 10 that make every list. But outside of that, man, it's like pretty free game. And like the rankings, are even if they rank them, they're all over. Like one would have one second, but then 25th on the other list. So it was cool. I pulled up a lot of a lot of stuff. Um, did you did you find any? I found some real cor correlations. Like I found myself. I chose a Stanley Kubrick bad guy. I chose a Stanley Kubrick villain. But there were like five or four that from which I could choose. I found like certain directors had really good bad guys. Like Scorsese yeah. had a handful of bad guys, right? Yeah. You got Pesci, Leota even was bad, even though he ended up being the good guy at the end, but he turned. He was a snitch too. Mm -hmm. So was he really a good guy, right? Not calling out Henry Hill in any way, but I mean, like, was that, you know, was that the villain? Was that even more villainous that he turned on his own people, right? And then you have like obviously your De Niro character, and then you've got every, you know, the bad, uh, DiCaprio, or not DiCaprio, but Nicholson and whatever in Scorsese. Yeah. And for me, what was interesting was um, Stanley Kubrick. Stanley Kubrick has Hal 9000, Alex from Clockwork Orange, Jack Nicholson's character, right? Jack in The Shining. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're all fucking really bad guys. 
And there, you the, the list just goes on and on about those guys. So I found it really interesting trying to whittle down who I who I really chose my final two that really stuck out in my head. Very good point. That's interesting about the directors. Yeah. How they create that. It's almost like they're creating the environment for the villain to be amazing. Yes. And that's really cool. And it's my argument that with, like, we talked, we already had a Heroes one, right? Like, favorite movie Heroes. We did? Yeah. And, oh, I like, blocked it out. let's be honest, like, John McClane is nothing without the other guy. Oh, well, I'm Hans sure, I'm Gruber. sure he'll come up. I'm Who? sure he'll come up. That guy. The guy, the other guy. The guy. The, not the, Ge- not Deutschmark. He's German. He is German, though. Shoot the glass. Um, but, like, it's funny. What makes a good hero is what is, sometimes the villain drives the hero. Jack Nicholson driving Michael Keaton in the first bat in the Batman. Yeah, of course. Um, I mean, Cesar it, Romero and freaking Don and, Meredith. And didn't they say that in one of the Batmans that I kill you? I need you like Batman yeah. and, and the Joker, Batman, and the Riddler, Batman. They're, they're nothing without each other. Yeah. I mean, that's the, that's the cat and mouse game. I mean, that's yeah. the point of, of all of those movies. And that's even almost like two face. The character is a personification of that push pull. You've got good evil, but you both need each other for the balance. Yes, There's of course. No, absolutely. Has to all kind of total out to zero at the end of the day. So you lose Maggie Gyllenhaal. That's fine. Or Maggie Gyllenhaal. I'm totally fine with that. Did, it was just her that died? Not Katie Holmes, right? It was Maggie Gyllenhaal that actually Well, blew Katie up. Holmes got written off the... Yeah, she got replaced is what Correct. I'm saying. But Maggie's the one that blew up, right? Correct. Whew, I feel much better about that. God, Jesus. You have this thing with her. I do. I've got this... She was in Secretary, and I... I don't know what that oh, is. Oh, man. I'll sh- I'll share it with you. Please don't. No, it's good. It's My therapist good. said you shouldn't do that. Well, it also has James Spader in it. Okay, you can't not like James. He's Spader. rad. Yeah, he was in Less Than Zero. Bro. I know that's a good villain. Another good villain. Oh my gosh, anything. Yeah, and then then you've got guys who get typecast. It's good villains. And yes, then, true. And then cancel culture, right? Like, if I'm going to tell you right now, if it wasn't for the allegations or the actual things that happened with Kevin Spacey. Kaiser Shose is on my list. Yeah, he did make it on the list twice, Okay, by the way. The guy from Seven, John yes, Doe, he yes. would make my list. Well, and I'm sure we'll talk about these things, but like, we're just kind of chatting right now. Yeah. But like, I can't, I, I want, I would choose him, but I can't. I mean, he's and that's great. your that's your prerogative. It's right? my personal prerogative. It's not. Correct. I'm not telling other people to do that. I personally just feel like I can't do it because mm-hmm. I I don't want to be a, a hypocrite in my way. If some compelling evidence shows that he's not guilty of any, of the allegations, or I don't know what I don't know all of the allegations, but I will change my mind as I did with uh, a certain other superstar. Yeah, some king of pop, I believe it was. Totally. So, so what are your thoughts? Uh, what did you come across? Did you just did these six, seven come right in your head? Yes. Or how did, how did, okay. Um, for the most part, yeah. Um, I caught him while he's reading, ladies and gentlemen. No, so. yeah, I was trying to figure out the name, the character name of, of one of mine. Um, yeah, for the most part, I just did Diarrhea of the Brain, and it's, I just started, just go. Boom, boom, I just type, 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 type. And then I started thinking, okay, hey, what about this movie? Oh yeah, I haven't seen that in twenty years, but I remember it being very vivid and very um, emotional for the for the. Well, it's not. I'll just give you an honorable mention: Cape Fear. Sure. Oh yes, how Cape Fear De Niro, right? Yes, correct. And I haven't seen it in forever, but I 91? just ninety one. What ninety one? I think. Yeah, it's been a while, and he's all. No, I'm tattooed. saying the year it came out was yes, like ninety one. I believe I so. Um, he's all tattooed and muscle and, and he just terrorized that family and like in the rain and all that. I don't remember it very well, but I just remember the emotion of the movie and how intense it was. So that's why I put it as an honorable mention. I want to go that and psycho. I want to go back and watch again because they were so intense as most like Hitchcock. Most of his movies were like that. And you're talking about Norman Bates. Yes, correct. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Which both of those made many of the lists in okay. different orders. Okay. Both Cape Fear and Psycho. Norman Bates made probably every list, and De Niro made probably all but one. Okay, okay. So those are solid, solid choices. Yeah, and I didn't... Because they're in top 20s. Those Easy. Those I wrote down without reading anything. I just remember how vivid, and you. it was like the people that were being terrorized, it was just 
it was crazy how much that the acting and the writing and the how intense. And there's no other way for me to say that the intense is the the way the movie was. Yeah, it's just like on on your edge all the time. Yeah, like correct. You're always kind correct. of and nobody that tension that and like Blair Witch. It's like all it's all suspense, form. right? It's all suspense. There's actually nothing that happens. Correct, in that movie. right? But you are just waiting for that other shoe to drop. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I and totally nobody agree. else picked Cape Fear, and but I had it, I had it as an honorable mention, so that's why I say it now. I didn't choose it as one of my two, and I'll be honest. I remember watching it once, but I was not into those types of movies at that time. Yeah, no, me neither. Ninety one was Terminator too. Right, correct. Ninety one, you know. Yeah. yeah. Well, Indiana very Jones. Diff- I went like a very a, different direction. Like um, Last Crusade was eighty nine. Last 89. Crusade was eighty nine. So so was, that whole area correct. was correct. Action adventure for me, correct. To- and horror and or just. Just a that, different genre. I agree that type completely. Was not yeah. My, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was not like suspense thriller was never my thing. You know, I, I now that you think about that, I remember going to the movies to watch a movie called Malice with Nicole Kidman and yeah. Alec Baldwin yeah, as a yeah, doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember the doctor oh, going, yeah. "You asked me if I play God. I am yes. God." Yes, totally. For that just popped in my head as well. So obviously, there's a lot, and uh, we hope that you guys engage this uh, on this one because we'd love to hear your choices who you think but we're going to start going into these and for me it was a little different i found out like i found that i liked the character like i found the actor was a bad guy a lot of times right typecast yep a uh, good example is like a malcolm mcdowell character malcolm mcdowell was a bad guy in tank girl and he was the bad guy in clockwork orange and he was the bad guy in the star trek generations movie and he was the bad you know what i mean so yes he's just he was that's who he was like uh robert de niro was a gangster in casino and he was a gangster in goodfellas and so is pesci you know so and then there's ones where like quentin tarantino movies i you obviously haven't seen django but there's a bad guy in django even don johnson's a bad guy in that he i like him as a bad guy in that and there's a really really uh, dicaprio's a real bad guy in that but for the most part a lot of the those characters, like, is Vin Rains a bad guy in Pulp Fiction? Because at the end, he gives it to the gimp and the other guy. So well, those were the bad guys. Right. But they can all be bad guys. I mean, v- it was Bruce Willis a bad guy for screwing Vin Rains over? I, you know what I mean? Like, Right. They're they all s- bad in certain yeah. ex- certain parts of the movie. They all do bad things. Travolta and, and Jackson were bad motherfuckers. Badass motherfucker, badass mother, right? It's Bad on motherfucker his, on his wallet. It's on the wallet. <laughs> Yet he gives him the money. Like, right. So they both did both gracious and really horrible things. So, like, it was hard in that way to pick movies that I like, the villain for movies that I really like. Yes. But, it, you know, Kubrick helped because I like a lot. I still haven't seen Eyes Wide Shut. Don't. I don't think I want to. Don't. I don't. It's horrible, um, dude. Should I? Have you seen it? Yes. You did watch it. Yes. I thought. Oh, did did I let you borrow it? Yes. Oh, no, I you, I watched it on Showtime. Oh, okay. It was it it's was stupid as shit? It's stupid as shit. All right. They could have cut out forty minutes of that bullshit. Because they got two thousand one. You got Clockwork Orange. You've got Full Metal Jacket. Holy shit! Full but Metal Jacket. Wh- who's the bad guy? The bad guy could be Vincent D'Onofrio. It could be the, uh, the drill the instructor. Could be. I'm just saying. Ter- uh, Scorsese movie or not Scorsese movies? Um, what's the name? The guy. They, with the Help alien in the spaceship. May bro, the rest in peace. Come on, man. 2001. Help me out. It's Kubrick. Kubrick. Stanley Kubrick. Jesus. And then, and then obviously, uh, you know, The Shining. So there were like so many movies I could choose bad guys from for him. Whereas I could, I had a hard time with like a Tarantino, which I really like. But I digress. As we usually do. So, uh, so how would we like to proceed, sir? We'll begin with the surveys. Oh, we need like a survey thing, like ding, like ding. we need like a, the, the yes. Family Feud ding, like survey says. Do you think we can get R- Richard Dawson to do it? Yes, like, we could. Survey says. Yes. Top three hundred on the board. Give me a kiss, love. That'd be up the butt, Bob. That'd be up the butt, Bob. Survey numero uno. Who's it from? From whom is it? Actually, the Honorable Roberto Cardenas. Before we begin. I need to know Mary's current uh, title. Super senior executive producer. <laughs> okay. We are now, we've now re double. We re re. re ow, what the dude? Fuck? You got problems with your stupid re, mic boom. We re double re pro- promoted her re, after re, demoting re. her from senior 
Yes. Se- from senior executive producer. We demoted her to executive, and now she's super senior? Super senior executive Jesus, producer. Jesus, we're fucked, man. Is that better? I yeah, there you go, dude. I'm trying, bro, but it's like, I, how do I sit at the desk and not talk? And then, you know, if we ever do video, we're going to have to change this whole setup. Okay. Maybe we'll just tell you. Maybe we'll just lay on the couch. Over there. Yeah. We're just a little Three lives the ago, I was an interior decorator, bro. With an olive. We'll all both have an olive leech, olive, olive branch, olive leaf, just over the, covering the nuptials. You and I, caddy corner with the video camera. Delman wants to see this, sir. Yeah, I don't think so. What are you talking about? I don't know. Why don't do know. you insist on derailing us? <laughs> I'm self saboteur, sir. I well, why are you sabotaging you, me too? Do you not remember my therapy session, sir? Uh, that's all I do is self sabotage. I don't. I wasn't there. Yeah, but I, I have a second therapy session with you. After I have a therapy session with you to talk about my therapist. Remember? Don't you remember? No, these my therapist said I shouldn't <laughs> be remembering that. Oh, those are the repression. The repressed yes. therapist. And she said memories. I shouldn't talk about it anymore. Yeah, where did the where did where did show me on the doll where he touched you? What a what a what a what a great what a, audience! What a great audience! What a great audience! All right, number one. You All ready, right, number bro? one from uh, from Roberto. Roberto, got Gardenas. Did super senior executive producer Mary chime in? Yeah, of course. Oh, excellent! excellent. She's down the list here. Roberto. I hope Felicia chose Debo. Uh, she did not. Because <laughs> by Felicia, that'd be oh, that would be been, so I awesome. know that's hilarious. He chose Commodus. Jeez. Oh. Joaquin Phoenix from Gladiator. Joaquin. Do you need a... You need a I got some hocking on my bread. Sorry do you need about some that. mucinex over there? Yeah, I got a little mucus <laughs> buildup. I didn't I didn't test you for that. From antibodies. Gladiator, one of my 10 movies on the deserted island. It is. And, and Commodus, the only reason I know Commodus is because I saw him on one of the lists. See, oh, really? The name wouldn't have struck out because I didn't. I didn't watch. I don't watch Gladiator religiously like you do, so I don't know all the the players. Right. I just. I would have thought it was like Caesarish, whatever he was. Right. Well, he was. He was a real thing. He was the Caesar. He, he was, was Commodus, Caesar. Yes. Right. But uh, and it was real historical time person. It was an actual okay. person, correct? I, believe, I don't know. I believe it was based on an actual. Com. I think there was well, an, a Commodus an, an, in the an time. emperor. I possibly. But anyway, Either please. he was or he wasn't. Yeah, he's one of the two. It's a Guaranteed. 50-50 chance. Well, uh, look, when someone asks someone in Arizona, if, what's the likelihood of it raining or what's the chance of it raining? Do you 50, know the answer? 50. Right. It's either going to rain or it's not. Or it's not. So at all times, it's 50% chance. Okay. As I look With out the window. cloud in the sky. <laughs> uh, let me, let me, I'm going to turn to our weather predictor, Mary. Uh and she says no. She no. It's a zero percent chance today, <laughs> boys and girls. One hundred percent chance of fire. Zero percent chance of rain. Welcome to the desert. Welcome His second to- choice, a very popular choice on the the list, Hannibal Lecter. That's the from other one. Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, he was in the top probably three on almost every list. How and can he not be? How can he not be? Anthony Hopkins is fucking creepy because he's a bad guy in Westworld too. Or was or is I don't know. Well, I'm, he's he fucking killed that lady. He fucking killed Bro, that lady. He killed people. He had the other dude kill that. The black dude kill his lover. Remember? Strangled her or whatever. Snapped her neck right in front of him. Snap your fingers. Because she was like the executive. She was the senior executive producer of the <laughs> of the Westworld company, and she was going to shut it down. The brunette, the older woman that the black guy was banging. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And then he. Snapped her, and didn't he? He wasn't he right there when she when he did. He yeah. just like threw her against the wall and like splattered her brains everywhere. Uh, I that was season one, so that's I'm yeah. very vague on that. You're right, and I I just watched it, and I haven't seen three. Okay, or two. Actually, I don't know how far even I got in it too. So okay, I need to play catch up. Okay, Twitter would. But spoiler alert away, man. It's cool. But Lecter is just creepy in every fucking thing. Free Jack, he's creepy in Free Jack. He's great in everything. He's great in everything. Yeah. I'm debating about watching the two popes where he plays, yeah, uh, B- Benedict the Sixteenth. I've heard good things, but nowadays I don't know what to believe. Right, it looks really good, but because there's so many lies, I don't know what's real. Right. So, and I'm having, I'm trying, I try to stay away from more docudramas because they're going to be embellished to prove a point because someone has an agenda. I mean, even documentaries are hard at times because people have agendas. But, um, Agreed. What's interesting? Well, we we talk about that, right? It's it sounds like people like it. 
Do you remember when we talked about Dave Chappelle getting a 35% fucking tomato meter or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. But audience scores 99? Yeah. He fucking won an Emmy on Sunday. Yes. And he, did you hear his fucking expe- acceptance I, speech? No, I, I, I saw a tweet about it, but I didn't click on it. it is Can I worth, get the one minute Reader's Digest? Yeah, because he only talked for two and a half. But basically he's like, I thought it was going to be horrible. Everybody said it sucked. <laughs> so he starts like, <laughs> going, like all these like critics. When it came out, everybody thought it was shit. You're the worst Chappelle so, impersonation ever. So he's like, then he's like, I, he's like, thank can you. Can you for, speak normal, please? Yeah. So he like thanks him for the for the Emmy, or and check, he and he's check holding Mark one. Can talk about he's it. holding one. He goes, yeah. Well, by the way, thanks for my two Emmys tonight. And by the way, this isn't one. This is from the last fucking show. And he puts it down because it was from Chappelle's show. And he just starts shitting on like the whole fucking academy, like the industry. Yeah. And then he's like, thank you for brother Mulaney and uh, Tiffany Haddish and everybody else who was nominated. Patton Oswalt was nominated with him when he won the category won. They were all co-nominees. Yeah. He goes, he goes, I'm, he goes, I'm honored and blessed. You inspire me every day. Thank you for being, you know, on, he goes, I'm sorry you didn't win, but it doesn't fucking matter. It was so fucking awesome. man. He goes, he goes, I'm sorry that you guys didn't win, but nobody gives a shit. You know what I mean? Like, because it's so worthless. It's such a worthless thing. He he he's such a he's so above. You mean everything. he told it like it is? Yeah. He just he doesn't need it. He walked away from like I my understanding is like fifty million dollars to do the third season of Chappelle Show or some ridiculous amount of money. Wow. He walked away. Like people thought he went off the reservation, and all he did was just get away from the fucking toxicity that is what we're finding Hollywood. The to industry be. itself. Yeah. And now it's the whole thing's changed. Everybody's moving to Austin. It's a fucking weirdest thing. Austin, Massachusetts? Texas. Okay. Is there an Austin, Massachusetts? No. It's just a line from Road Trip. Oh, like Bob. <laughs> oh, that's Austin, Tom Green? Massachusetts? Is that before he tried to eat the, the, yes. the rat? And Unleash then give it the to Fury, <laughs> Mitch! <laughs> oh, my. Didn't he show. Didn't he actually put the mouse in his mouth? Yeah. He did that song. Yeah. Uh, Tom Green. He's like, <laughs> look, that's how you eat it. He's showing the snake how to eat it. That's a villain. Tom Green in anything, even as a hero, he's a villain. Wouldn't the snake be a? No, he's just doing his thing. All right, so um, Roberto C has Hannibal L. Lecter. And I'm sure we're going to get deeper into Hannibal because tell me about Hannibal, man. He's a bad mother trucker. He ate people. Oh. Hannibal the cannibal, and he wanted fucking fava beans and Chianti and shit with uh, the dude's liver. Yeah, and funny that they chose him. Why is that funny? Buffalo Bill, to me, was way creepier. Like, obviously, well, Anthony Hopkins was more dangerous because he just was a genius. Like, I would say he's more dangerous mentally. Yes. But, I mean, obviously, he was locked in a cell, Till and Buffalo out. Bill was an active serial killer. Right. But Anthony got out. Well, correct. I'm just yes. saying, like, Anthony was a d- more dangerous individual. Oh, in yeah, mentally, opinion. he was he outsmarted the FBI, etc. Yeah. But... Yeah. Uh, yeah, and Buffalo Bill puts it puts the lotion on it again. It's just creepier. But he was a yes. bad dude. Very bad. He was not in any of the list. I was surprised that he wasn't. That's even a mentioned. very, very good point. Yeah, because they, really, there's multiple. It's a bad guy getting another bad guy. It's really what it yeah. is. Yeah, and and once again, Anthony Hopkins, you're kind of rooting to have him get out, right? Because you want to see the next movie. Like, <laughs> let's not kid ourselves. He's an in- engaging, intriguing character. Great like, character. Yeah, completely engaging. And like, I never, there's two more after that, right? Red Dragon and something right. else. Yeah, there's Hannibal. There's a couple. And I never watched. <sighs> there's one with Phil Seymour Hoffman in it. He's uh, really good. He is in a weird way, but then he's so slubby and disgusting. And then he die OD'd, obviously. And yeah. it's such a shame. But he, I think. He's, he, a, he's a method actor, though. He was. And I think is, the drugs helped him. Like, I think drugs sure. help anything. Just like help Jimi Hendrix play guitar to yeah. the level that he played the guitar, right? Like, sure. Fucking when you, yeah, but dude, tripping on acid, you playing that Star Sangle Banger probably sounds normal to him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> He's like, wow, that's pretty traditional. So he didn't know version. the guitar was on fire? I don't think he cared. He was right. just already out there, man. Yeah. I, but I think that taps into, into sides of you that parts of your brain that you don't get without it. Uh, and of course. So, yeah. Heroin LSD, helps. man. LSD, yeah, acid. It's funny because they talk about a mind altering drug, but it's actually, in my opinion, a mind opening. Oh, drug. of course. So anyway, but Lecter, fuck, he was awesome. Gene, so smart and charming. Had that little bit of an accent, even, even like all, and even, and he's obviously not. 
I don't know if obviously is the right term, but he's used that character as a template for a lot of his other bad guy characters. He has a similar kind of t- timber and way he talks in Westworld. Yeah. When he does in Free Jack. Hello, Jules. You yeah, know, he's the, got the that. cadence of his speech. Yes. It's has very a repetitive. Hypnotic. Yes. And it kind of lulls you into exactly this. Exactly right. Into this like uh-huh. rhythm that he wants. Like, like he's like waving the freaking yes. watch in front of your eyes. And you will go to sleep and he will eat your. And he will eat. He will eat all of your organs. And wear your face. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did. He did. He, he did wear he the did face. to get to get out to of get somewhere. Out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something yeah, yeah. is a weird thing. It was creepy. But anyway, yeah. But I thought it was interesting that that Ed, uh, I'm sorry, that Buffalo Bill is based on a real serial killer. Yeah, the name, right? Ed Gein from Wisconsin. Wisconsin? In, Wisconsin in 1959. You know if he was from Minnesota, he played Duck, Duck, Gray Duck? I didn't. Duck, Duck, Gray Duck. Eh? Uh, uh, hello, Twitter world. <laughs> if you play Duck, Duck, Gray Duck and you're from Minnesota, please tweet us. Hashtag Gray Duck because they have no geese? Hashtag Gray Duck. Um... I was told, and I looked this up on Wiki, it's the only state. It's kind of like Sprinkles instead of Jimmy's and Bubbler instead of Water Fountain. Water Fountain. Almost said that water. Was, what the fuck really is close. wrong with me? That you would have really got a lager close. fountain. Yeah, a lager. <laughs> got a lager fountain. I am not going to complain about that. You need. Is that, I got a you need one lager fountain? Oh. Anyway, so, but I think it's how they learn colors. Because they would go, yellow duck. Blue duck. I don't know if they learn colors or just that's them. stupid. I agree, but I, bro, it's yeah, people that live in Minnesota, <laughs> gray duck, bro, negative forty at times. <laughs> like, what do you think that does to brain development and character development? Well, people live here. It's one hundred and twenty. Have you seen people that are from here? Uh, I only know one. I know a couple, and not not that impressed. I agree. The thing we're slamming our own people. I love our people. Psycho. We're um, Arizona no, I know too. Excuse me. One's pretty okay. Yeah. Yeah. Megsy's okay. Oh shit! She's from here. She's That's three. Born. I know three. Oh wow! Yay! I dated a number of them that lived here. Born, born here. Wow. At, at least two. At least two. So, but I'm old, so I usually dated people from another state, and it mattered. It mattered what state? Fuck yeah, it mattered. Not. Minnesota. Minnesota. Oh, do you play Duck Duck Gray Duck? Get out. <laughs> I'm not even paying for your coffee. Just get out. Bye. Bye. Get out of this Starbucks. No. Just peace yeah. out. Duck Duck Gray Starbucks. <laughs> buck, buck Buck Starbucks. I don't know. Tangents.net. Dot. Yes. <laughs> so Roberto shared uh, Hannibal. And Commodus. And Commodus. Excellent choices. Yes. Excellent. I'm not giving any more manual claps, but I, I, I applaud it. I applaud it. Okay. okay. I think we're gonna have we're gonna hit that button a couple of times. Okay. The applaud button. Good choices. All Who's right. next? Next up is Abel's wife, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Hola. She said Denzel Washington from Training, Training Day. Training Day, yeah, son of a bitch. I what's his name? I don't I remember don't his name. No. I I haven't seen it in so long. He just plays a good bad guy. But Denzel's He's like He's a crooked cop, right? Right. A crooked cop that you know gets I have I don't really remember it that well. It was I I only watched it once, so I can't tell. It didn't resonate with me as something I really enjoyed watching multiple times, but it was good. I'm not going to say it was bad. It's just not my style. Okay. Um, The challenge I have with Denzel is, in my opinion, Denzel just plays angry guy in every movie he is, even when he's a good guy. So it's hard to even tell if he's a good or bad guy in any movie. Okay. That's my personal opinion. I don't, I'm, okay. He's good. Like, he was great in Flight. Did you ever see Flight? No. Uh, the one where he where he saves the plane and it flips over because he, he was rolls drinking? it. No, he rolls it on purpose because the the aileron is stuck. Okay, he actually saves the plane. They try to simulate it multiple times and never get to fix like to recreate what he did. Okay, he saved lives, but he was drunk when he did it, so he got attested from the after he landed it and all okay. that, and then okay. he had ramific- like Sully, right? Didn't Sullenberger get shot on for that? Well, Didn't- they. Something happened, right? There was allegations or something, but they never came never to stuck. be. Okay. Something like that. But it was like one of those things where yeah. like he landed the fucking plane in the huts and saved everyone. Right. And then. And then they were like, oh, by the way. Yeah. I I think at that point. like Leave the dude alone. I would. Like, that's I, one thing it's okay to bury. Right. It's okay not to release the fact that he had a beer. And if he lost one, if he lost one person. Yes. Right. All, all bets are off. 
but it was a it was a bird that flew into an engine. Correct. Like think about. It. I, I think, think it was, was just several both. Was it, was several, it both engines? Several birds. Was it both engines? I believe it was both engines. Holy shit! So it was a it was a it was a hang glider at that point. Yeah, it, a well, really yeah. really really heavy one. It was a really large rock. Yeah, <laughs> and to land that thing in a in, river in a river and get the turn not stalling obviously. Yeah. And you and I know about flight and lift and all this. We shit. do. That's what I heard. I'm sorry. The Bernoulli principle. Bernal Bernoulli. Ber who? I like. Uh, what's that? Bugatti. Yes, all good. the fast cars from those Italy. are Peace out. It's already gone. Um, so, so anyway, back to Denzel and flight. Yeah. Uh, he was a good guy. In that. He was great in glory, but he was angry, right? He's, he just plays this one. He always just seems to be always like it's on the edge. same character. In every it movie. seems to me. I what I one of my favorite movies I liked him in was Pelican Brief. Yeah, I thought that was a very well done movie, and it it really I thought he shone in that as a good guy. But yeah, he, trained. Yeah, he was just a bad dude. He just did bad shit. Bad shit. So, who who's the second from? Uh, Nurse is it Lisa? Lisa. Hello, Lisa. L- Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa, men have named you. Thank you. I'll be here all week, or yeah. at least for another hour or two. Whatever it takes. So Lisa Mona. Yeah. Nurse Ratchet from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. She was littered all over those those lists i was gonna watch that again this week too i want to what happened was we we decided on this topic this week and we just didn't have enough time to watch all the movies but now that i now that we did this i'm gonna watch all the movies that of yeah. all the villains because i'm like holy shit i forgot how good that was yeah and nicholson's in that yes I, nicholson is just i've been meaning to watch that for at least a year and nicholson whether he's that the the crazy guy the chi- in chinatown or whether he's in, uh, the bad guy in departed or he's the bad guy right. the joker or he's you know the shining like jack nicholson is a fucking bad dude he's intense everywhere yeah even anger management he's a bad guy <laughs> with adam sandler because they sing, I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. And witty. And fine. Yeah. I forgot the last word. I'm so sorry. It's okay, man. I don't know all the words to all the songs. No. So wasn't that, a, isn't that from a musical? It is. Oh, are, are, should we introduce that we segment did. into the podcast? We though? did. Remember we talked about Oklahoma? Right. right. Oh, yeah. you sent Oklahoma this week? No. No, we what already- was this week's? That you said. This week's was West Side Story. I West Side Story. That's correct. And then I said, "How do you solve a problem like Maria?" Because that was, Maria's in. I know, but Maria's in West. Maria's Side Story. also in West Side Story and right. Sound of Music. Right. Every Sunday, I send Mark's girlfriend the play of the week, and Megzi. she has to Megzi, and she has to sing songs from that specific play, so she does not say the words. His name is Alexander Hamilton. Yeah. And drive Mark to drink excessively. Yeah, it's funny because I don't even drink. It actually caused me to stop drinking. <laughs> That's how bad it was. That's terrible. That's <laughs> reverse psychosis. No, I stopped taking. I stopped shooting heroin. It was a weird. Whoa, thing. wait now. Yeah, I'm very upset. I was very how happy. How much money have you saved? I was very like twelve thousand dollars. <laughs> I was very happy in a puddle on my bed, drooling all over myself for hours at after work. Now you're coherent. Day. Now I'm lucid. Yeah. What the fuck, man? I don't know. I apologize for that. Yeah, you asshole. (laughs) It's all my fault. So Megsy once a week gets a musical. Megsy's musicals. Yes. That's what we'll do. We'll have a Megsy musical. Yeah, we'll do hashtag Megsy musical. Can you tweet that out once a week on Sunday when you send it to her? Sure. We'll get her an account. We're going to add Ava Ava Stairs to that account. And uh, Ava is the dog. blind dog that stares in the corners. At other, all kinds of items. All kinds of things. It doesn't even know. Yeah, just for hours. AvaStairs.net. Poutside. Uh, number side also for people who did can't who didn't even know what a pound side was. Right, of course. <laughs> All right, so we've got Nurse Ratchet, which is a phenomenal. Now, what do you know about her? Because I honestly may have only seen that movie once, and it was a shit long time yeah, ago. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, I, it's I been twenty five years. So, but I've heard great things. Like, yeah, yeah, I, I want to watch that again. I'm gonna I'm very interested. that and Cape Fear and Psycho. I want to watch in the next week. Yeah, like. I'm almost scared to watch all these back to back to back. Like it's almost an intensity of really heavy good, drinking. Well, really good, like really good, deep psychological yes, movies correct. that are gonna these bury into our soul, man. These aren't Psycho is not like it's an not ancillary a, it, surface. It's not like, clueless. It's not Scream. It's true. All right, bro. I mean, Scream. It's can not be 101 whatever. Dalmatians. <laughs> 
Cruella DeVille's on some list, bro. Stop it. She is. No way. Glenn Close. Yeah. And oh. even the cartoon one, I think. Yeah. I got you, you doggies. <laughs> I think I sound like her in that. That was amazing. Wasn't that Cloris Leachman that was like? Ah, she looked like Cloris Leachman. The cartoon one did. Okay. I thought. So, yeah. So that was Lisa. Thank you, Lisa, yes, for good sharing. Job, Lisa. So is Abel next? And is he going to give us his movie theater? Like, is he going to give us a whole, like, thesis? Yeah, he called he me to tell Lisa? me. Uh, the the theory behind his picks, but I think I was drinking and I don't remember what he said. Can we make it up? Yes. Cool. <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to this. So Abel's picks, the dude, the best dude with the degree in film production, said Hans Gruber. Shoot the glass from the Die Hard, and Joe Pesci from Goodfellas. Okay, 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 okay. Not that one. <laughs> Not they fuck you now, in the drive through. Mom. What? Hey, I like this guy. What is he staring at me? What's he saying? Hey, he's a dog. I'm a dog. What am I looking at? <laughs> I love this one, Mom. I love this painting you did. I'm a clown. How? What do I amuse you? That that's a good scene with the clown. Uh, or the shoe. Get your shoebox. Fucking with uh, Dennis Farina. Get your oh, fucking yeah. shoebox. I'll fucking show you a shoebox, you motherfucker. You motherfucker with your fucking shoebox. Fucking, he's good in that. I just caused a blind dog to no longer stare, but bark. Yeah, that was really well played, sir. I'm sorry. I got it animated. Yeah, you did. It I was... need oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> it was really good. <laughs> um, Kylo Ren. Excellent. It was a Kylo Ren. Yeah. I'm a little pushy bitch. <laughs> I'm going to cut you. Ro. Or what's her name? Ray. 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 Ren? Ray. Ren. Ray. 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 Ray with an E. I don't know. I don't know why I talk like that. I don't even know if that's close, but whatever. it's fantastic because it's bad. Yeah, <laughs> and he's not that great. I like Adam Driver though. That's a sad part. Yeah, but I wonder if he was shown told the to character act that was weird. mundane, and he seemed like a whiny bitch. Just, yeah, because like Vader never was a bitch. Like Vader didn't, you know, at the end he, he was, was all, a whiny bitch when he was a kid, and then he became that doesn't count because that I little agree. Man, that first fucking movie. And Hayden Christensen, I I'm I'm gonna I hate to do this because Lucas invented the whole franchise, but I'm gonna blame Lucas on his directing. On Absolutely, because even Natalie Port we even talked about it. Natalie Portman was robotic in that. Yeah, and it was fu- all they were all re- fucking robot. Even Ewan McGregor, who generally has a really good smoothness to his ca- acting. Yes, I like him, and he didn't. He wasn't like none of the characters were likable in that first one. I mean, I like Liam. But then he's like, I'll get you and your daughter. You know, and I'll take my lightsaber and get cut on Dantooine. <laughs> so, and he's going to be Hannibal Lecter later. Or not Hannibal, Hannibal Smith. <laughs> Wrong Hannibal, boys and girls. Damn. Look at that. Dun, dun, dun. Good Hannibal and bad Hannibal. Dun, dun, dun. What if Hannibal versus Hannibal? That would, <sighs> Smith versus Lecter. But would Hannibal Smith have the rest of the A-team? He would have to. Okay. But Lecter gets his, like, crony, cronies of, like, psycho serial killer. They, they exhume Ted Kaczynski. Okay. They get the paddles on him, reanimate him, because they're smart, right? Well, they is he frozen? Isn't he dead? I don't know. I think they got to unbury him. Exhume Kaczynski? Him. Yeah. Is he alive? I don't know. They kill him? I, I don't remember. Something came to mind as I was looking through these movie villain things. Um... I'm really sorry to share this, but have you ever read any living, like live or real world manifestos of psychotic people and found yourself like nodding your head in agreement with some of the shit that they write down? I don't think I've ever read a manifesto. The Ted Kaczynski one. It's very interesting. He's the Unabomber. Unabomber. Right. Okay. Universities and airlines. Yes. That's where it came from. I believe. And he wrote a manifesto, and you find yourself nodding every once in a while. He's not wrong. I think it's just the way he went about trying to remove it is wrong. You know, he spoke about me, social media type stuff, or how like you know how we're turning and how we're turning, how our society's turning and whatnot. And he's pretty on yeah, top. Some shit's fucked up. Yeah, he's and that's the thing. Like, what's sad about that is like, why can't we get Kaczynski to? be on a think tank instead of fucking be the single guy in the woods trying to destroy everybody single handedly. He's not going to, but he might be able to fix it. He might, he's smart enough to fucking fix it. Maybe, you know, that's a really good point. And I'm wondering what, you know, where that line is like who, think tank 
serial killer. <laughs> like, I don't know. How thick is that line? Yeah. And and how do you get to the think tank? Like, I'll be honest. I, I'm not, I may not be a smart man, but I do know what love is. I'm not the smartest guy and I'm not the, I'm not the top at any category. However, as an overall with the creativity, the out of the box thinking, a lot of that type of stuff, I feel like I would love to be like part of a think tank. I think I would have a lot to offer a think tank, not answers, but probably questions for sure. <laughs> well, but so you, 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 would make a lot of, you would do a lot of thinking for sure. Yeah. I'd find the problems. I think, I think I'd be really good at like Asking where the questions, well, where, yeah, where are those pitfalls down the road? Well, if you push this thing, what's going to happen down here? Down yeah, there, yeah, down yeah. there. I'm really good with that kind of like stuff. Like when you go to Mars. Get your get your rust to Mars. All the problems that that would create. Hey Trista, get your rust to Mars. Yeah. <laughs> Call again. Uh, okay, so tangent over, tangent averted. Barely. Well, not really. By the skin that of our a teeth. Total tangent. I don't. Okay. But I'd love to work for a think tank with Ted Skazinski. Apparently, we solve a problem or two. Maybe we'd solve the problem like Maria. That's not possible. That question has been asked for like 50, 60, 70 years now. Uh, many times over. He, since the dawn of time. Yeah. That first cave woman was Maria, dude. Ooga Bro, booga. We'll never figure out Maria. Nope. I can't even figure out myself. We're totally screwed. Yeah, we're done. Yeah. So, all right. So third on the list, third person. Is it Georgia boy time? Georgia boy time. Georgia boys. Do we have a thing for them yet? Do we need Georgia boy music? Or just uh, something. What do we need? Uh, you know what we need? Get your get your three guys to get on an Apple, iPad, phone, device. Android device and just go, Georgia boys in the house or something. And then send it to you and I'll put it on the We I'll need the banjos the from Deliverance. Ding, 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 yep. ding, 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 ding. I can't. That's copyright. I know. I knew you'd say but that. But maybe we can find a banjo just strumming. Okay. Bling, Georgia boys. Yeah. Love it. Add the lube, bro. Just advice. One of them recently lived in Alabama, too. So Al uh, Greenbow, Alabama. He just moved to Georgia. So thank God. Ugh. So they are now the Georgia boys officially. Oh, so they were the gal boys. They were Georgia, Alabama boys. They were the border boys. Cause they live right they were on, algae. They're right on the border, on the river. Oh, that's right. They are. Is Tuscaloosa by any chance? The mother truck on the Chattahoochee River. Bam, bam, food on Chattahoochee. If you keep doing that, the dogs are going to bark. Okay. Oh. Georgia boy number one. Darth Vader. Um, yeah, how can you go wrong? The I mean, most recognizable bad guy of yeah, all time. Correct. I mean, just the helm. Like, he's so, he has a costume. So, like, <laughs> like, Hannibal Lecter might wear different clothes. So, like, you might not recognize him. Or a hat or something. Like, Darth Vader's, like, got one... I don't even know who his dry cleaner is, but he has one fucking outfit. His cape is always perfect. His whole closet is lined up with like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all uh, fucking I think it, same shit. Uh, it's Tuesday. I think I'm wearing black. <sighs> I'm going to need my Tuesday cape. <laughs> like, what the fuck does he say? But most recognizable bad guy in all of history, probably, arguably. I would say yes. And brought balance to the force. Like Once again, we talk about good and bad, right? Good and evil. His He was so fucking bad. He had to do a good deed just to fucking... Bake it back to zero. Well, good guy's one, I guess, so it's not zero, but... Plus one? Yeah, a little plus one. Okay. He did a really good deed. Yeah. The emperor. Down the tube. Have you ever... You've you've watched Chasing Amy, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. (laughs) You remember where the comic convention? And he asks about Darth Vader, and he's like, he's just a crusty white guy trying to get out. I I don't remember that part. We're going to watch that again. Okay. That's probably one of the After funniest Psycho scenes. or before? No, Cape probably Fear. before. Okay. Before everything, because it's funny. Yeah. It's worth it. It's worth the laugh. But basically, they have a black guy who writes comic books, and it's hard because he's also gay in real life. So he has to act like a really hardened black man to sell comic books, right? He has to have a, be a character. Of, of a course. Person. So he pays one of the guys, I think Jason Lee's character, to go into the Sydney audience. He goes, Darth, isn't Darth Vader a black guy? Darth Vader was black. You know, he like raised, and he goes, how dare you use the sacred trilogies? And then he starts going on some diatribe of how the whole time Darth Vader was a white guy trying to get out because after he took off his helmet, he's white. He's white. And then, and then, because he used the term Nubian. So then Jason Lee raises his hand later and goes, What's a Nubian? <laughs> and then he, gra- he grabs a gun. What? Black power. 
<laughs> it's just a funny I scene. I remember that at all. It's the funniest scene of the whole shit movie. Like, you'd forget the rest. You'd forget Laurie Joan, Aaron Jones's little boobies after that. That I won't forget. No, they're cute. They're perky. Right. Well, yeah. And she's super like, cute. hi, Brody. I know. I sound like this. Okay, so uh, Darth Vader. Darth Tell Vader. us any insight into well, Darth Vader. Well, he's the man. I mean, from the what, the first scene in the boardroom when he chokes the guy with his fingers, you're like, uh-oh, don't fuck with this dude. I and mean, h- hello. 43 years now. Yes. I mean, 77, right? Yes, 43 sir. years. Yeah. 43 fucking years he's been just the man. The man. Yeah. Like, no joke. Yeah. He's still on T-shirts that six-year-olds wear. And coffee cups and everything else. The last one he was in would have been the, the R- sixth one. Rogue One was the last one he was in. Yeah, which would have been after the sixth one, right? Yes, sir. When they attached them together for the first time. Yeah, the prequel. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Revenge of the Sith, I guess, would well, have been his last, his last Star Wars, and then he was in Rogue One. Correct. So. Which was really good. Rogue yeah. One was actually Rogue One was very good. Yeah. I didn't like the Spaniard... Because of the accents, okay. I, I I just I don't know. I wasn't as I wasn't into the characters. I liked the the female pilot a lot. She was cool. She's tough. Yeah, tough little cookie. Sure, but uh, I did like some of the shooting, like some of the shootouts there they had, like when they were trying to get in to steal the plans, right? The Bantha and, or what Banthans? How many Banthans died? Is that what they were? I don't remember that. Yeah, I, I that, know what you're trying to yeah, say, but I don't remember the term. Many Banthans died getting us this information or whatever the. Whatever the word was. It was yes. like a species of some type. So anyway, Darth, Darth Vader. Vader. <sighs> Number two. Second on the list has already been mentioned. Uh, Mr. Denzel Washington from Training Day. Training Day. Uh, honorable mention to Mr. Vernon from The Breakfast Club. The principal. The dean. Yes. Are you aware that uh, you raid Barry Manilow's wardrobe? <laughs> it's two weeks. You want to make it two weeks? No. So we, we could do that all day. But yeah. Breakfast Club's amazing. Love Breakfast Club. Judd Hirsch. Judd Nelson? Judd Nelson. I always get Judd Hirsch and Judd Nelson because that's awful because Judd Hirsch was in Taxi. <laughs> yeah, that's real different. <laughs> Judd Nelson, they're very different one's, fucking people. Yeah, one's in the in the Brat Pack and one's not. Yeah, one's in the Brat Pack and one's in the Taxi Club. The Taxi Club? I don't fucking know, man. You I, got nothing? That was the worst improv thing I've ever said in my entire <laughs> life. <laughs> one demerit. Okay, I'll take it. You're bringing the demerits back? Because you listen to today's podcast. Yes, and correct. And I stole originally from Anthony's podcast. Gosh darn C- Correct. I stole from you. you correct. I feel bad about no, that. No, I, I allow that. I deserve it. Please, if I that. deserve a demerit, I, you are allowed to give me one. Well, I want to Like when back. I said there's no such thing as bad luck, you're allowed to give me four demerits for that shit. How do I earn back my demerit that I lost? I can only give them back to it's you. It's not sexual favors, though. Like what, Fuck what no. does. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm Don't, trying to. No touching. <laughs> no touching. <laughs> T-bone. I feel like that's going to... I wish we could just take that clip, just no touching. You just need to do a bunch of impressions and then record them. That's true. Because you do that really well. Except for my Richard. Don't ever do dive... Checkmark doing Dreyfus is good. But if you could do the T-bone and put that on the soundboard, that would be cool. T-bone. I I really like your T-bone. T-bone. Yeah, I really like that. Holds his head back. Yeah. A little high five. Back high five. I really like when you do T-bone. That shit cracks me up. All right. All right. We'll figure it out. (laughs) And no touching is funny. All right. So George Boy 2? Are we on George Boy 1? That was one finishing up with Breakfast Club. Okay. Breakfast Club, Dean, and Darth. Darth and Dean. Yes. Got it. Uh, Number two, George Boy, Hannibal Lecter. Fava Beans. John Doe from Seven. That would be the Kevin Spacey character. Seven, 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 seven. Sibilance, sibilance. Which obviously I know you're an a uh, Kevin Spacey cancel well, because personal of, yeah I have to be I, and that's cool you're entitled to that I'm not canceling him because that's not fair I'm not telling other people what to do with it it is my well, you personal have choice to do that yes I personally decided to do it but I'm not calling for his head no because I am of personal choice and I believe in the yeah. freedoms of personal right. choice and so. I yeah and I'm I I think what he admitted to is horrible. I'm not going to disvalue his performance. I, I was going to say skills, but that's his not contribution the right word. to acting. His, yes, his yes. his roles. Yes, of which all of them 
have yeah. been phenomenal. Correct. You and love American, American Beauty. American Beauty is one of my favorites. One of your and, favorites. And it's one you took on the island with you. Yeah, and obviously Seven is a, is a fantastic movie. And it's very well written. The story is very good. And if it wasn't for the... If it wasn't for um, Brad Pitt and the story itself and Gwyneth Stupid Paltrow, then... Her head, you mean. And yeah, her head. It wasn't about her. It was, she was hardly in it. Just her head. That's it. It was in the box. So, it, her head was in the box? Bro. What? Did, did I spoil it? Though? Yeah. Oh, damn it. I, uh, Haley Joel Osment sees dead people. He does know. not. Yeah. Bruce Willis was dead the entire time? The entire time get out of the city yeah it's crazy i can't believe it <laughs> you know that movie um with chris pine and denzel washington were on the runway train yeah is the train runaway. the villain <laughs> i think the guy who no ian supley who played jason lee's friend in my name is earl the fat dude who is yeah. there is no easter bunny that guy who couldn't see the sailboat yeah in mall rats yeah he's the idiot who got stuck off the remember he jumped off the train and ran away from he, him and he couldn't get back he, on he it he couldn't get the break in time right he's the villain uh, he's, he's the villain he started the runaway train correct he's the villain okay not the that train itself dumb no nah, the train is you the know the train doesn't know any better yeah if it wanted to do it maybe it's just a machine that right it's not even stop has zero zero ai it's got none yeah, of the it's AIs. negative ai yeah it's got negative eye do you want to talk to alexa right now Nah, I was going to do it just mid, like, just throw it out there, but no. You're not feeling it? You know, we're an hour in. Okay. I, I, I think. Too soon? I, Hashtag I think too it's soon. too soon. Okay. Hashtag too soon. Okay, so after but, seven. But I love it. You, I you can do it. Did you want to tell no. Alexa something? No. Okay. I don't want any there. Cause Alexa, AI's play Slayer. Thank you, Ricky Schroeder's thumb. <laughs> that was Honorable mention from Georgia guy number two. Heath Ledger's Joker, which I believe arguably could be the best villain of all time. Uh, that when I mean we've talked about it before, and it, you hit the nail on the head. The villain makes the hero. Do we need more light in here? No, sir. For you? Okay, I just maybe checked. maybe momentarily. No, we need okay. But when he makes the pencil disappear, yeah. I'm here to shoot the bus driver, as you've said several times in the past. I'm here to shoot the, the guy's bus just driver. the guy's ridiculously good. And it's, he died it, in his method acting. It's, he, he got hopped up on He made pills the movie. And, yeah. I mean, he he made the movie. There's no, I don't think there's any way around that sentence. All, all three, all three villains in Christopher Nolan's trilogy, Batman trilogy, made Christian Bale better. All of them. I just hated Bane. It was Tom. But Tom Hardy, he but was, it wasn't her that him that was even really the bad guy. Right. He was he a was puppet. The pub, like, all it was was that physical thing. It was a pretty decent plot twist that she, that she's yes, fucking I like Raison that. Ghoul's daughter. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Um, but, I, I didn't whatever. like that, that they regurgitated a storyline, but. I don't think they did. I think it made sense because it was a, it was a bomb versus the water. Like, it was different. Uh, I, it yeah, was very different. But it was and the same. Bullshit from the first movie, but, but it wasn't because they didn't go into they didn't go into him him getting out of that jail was a great part of that like the struggle like I thought that was a really poignant that thing. I did like that a lot where he didn't have that they only trained at the league of whatever it wasn't like he was in jail right so it was different areas of the world right I, I understood so I don't know but I get what your point is it, it made an easy thing but it really was an extension of the story which is what tr they should be no shouldn't Vader at the end have a resolution with Luke from the beginning? Like, I just don't think you can compare Batman and Star Wars. Mm. Okay. Because two had nothing to do with one because you had the Joker. You know? Yeah, that's true. And then the, joke, and it, it, the Joker goes away at the end of two, and so does Two-Faced. And then you get a new guy. Now, this is a dumb conversation. No, why? How is this a dumb conversation? <laughs> Well, remember there. What you have the first one is is fine. Is it Fines or who's the? Is it? It's Liam Neeson, right? Yeah. In the first, okay, so yeah. Liam Neeson is the first guy. Yeah. They want to taint the water supply, right? <laughs> is <said> taint. <laughs> yeah. With Scarecrow, and that's when Scarecrow, Killian Murphy's awesome. He's, yes. I loved him as a judge in the third one too. Like, right. What does he say? Death by ice or whatever. <laughs> like, do you have death or walk the ice or walk? <laughs> what? It's such a great line. You've been found. Whatever it was. And everybody's guilty. 
Yeah. You're like, it's yeah, death or blah, 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 that's blah. That's true. There's death by... It's either it's death or death by Unga Bunga. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> death by Unga Death by Unga Bunga. <laughs> that was my Gilbert Gottfried, ladies and Th- gentlemen. Which is very good. It's probably my best impression of all. Um, so, to your point, I get it, but, like, you've got Liam Neeson, the father of the woman at the end. But, like, you didn't know that was happening, and no, that was pretty course. cool. Like, it was a nuclear... We- like, they were all different. They all had three different very different kind of plots to them, which I felt was nice. But they're all the same. I mean, every superhero movie is the same. Like, good guy starts and does real well, then he gets beat, and now he, he has to come down. back. Yeah. And then he has same to thing. overcome. Boy it gets happens. girl, boy loses girl, boy gets girl back. Again, it's like crazy. I don't know. Because I it makes me think of Avengers. And I love that whole, I love the Avengers, all of it. Like, Endgame, Infinity War, all that. But, you know, or do I spoil it by talking about it? Or uh, would talking about it spoil it for you? What? Uh, Avengers I've seen Endgame. Them okay. Where he's like, I've gone through 14 million simulations and there's only one that it comes out the right way. Right? With Doctor Strange, remember he yes. visited all yes, the different yes, yes. worlds or dimensions? Yes. So then he looks at Stark and he's like, this is the one. How do you fucking know? It's all, it had to be variants by that much. Like, come on. And then all of a sudden save the world. Because he's doctor. He's a oh, doctor. it's because he's a doctor. It's because he's a doctor. And it's Benjamin Cumberbatch, and he's pretty cool. And he's Khan. So yeah. he knows it all. <laughs> Khan, shit. Fucking Ricardo. <laughs> did not even cross my mind. Oh, did it cross shit. your mind? No, it did not. Not, not even... A lick, man. No. And we, we've been sucking that dude's cock on this podcast. Hey, hey speak for yourself. <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you expect me to do? <laughs> I have not. I mean, I gave him a foot rub, but I did not touch his wiener. You ever give a man a massage? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's from Pulp Fiction, right? Isn't that? The... Yes. Yeah. I, I could, I, I'm a little tired. I could use a foot massage. Fuck you, man. <laughs> all right so we had okay so i get your point but yeah jo- we're gone we're probably gonna have we talked about it we're gonna probably talk about who's the best batman right there's like six or seven or eight of them or 23 of them 23 um we're probably gonna talk about who's the best joker but that's rough dude that's an apples and oranges in my opinion because i feel like nicholson played it differently than heath ledger played it differently than joaquin played it and obviously caesar romero was fucking psychotic on the television show Yes. Because he just laughed. He just wanted to... <laughs> like, he was nuts. He wanted to watch the world burn. Yeah, but, and he didn't fucking care how. He wasn't... I don't think he was like Heath Ledger like that. No, but it, it was, was 19... Sadistic. It was the right. 60s. No, but like, he was not... Like, he was scary. Yeah. You... you If you went to sleep after watching Batman, you probably had a nightmare. Because he was clowny face, makeup. Like, right. It was all... I Maybe that's why I don't like clowns. That might be why I don't like clowns at all. Is that you do watch we, fucking... Do we want to have a podcast about yeah. clowns? Like all the weird ones, like Pennywise from no, it. like why you and I don't like clowns. It's another Kubrick one, by the way. Oh no, that's a Stephen King one. Um, I'm just yeah, like we could try. We could talk about. It. Let's see if we workshop it. Well, uh, I think I think it's just one answer. Is like I'm creeped out by fucking clowns. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember Common? Do you know? Remember the Italian Job, the movie The Italian Job? Yeah. Common's the thief, right? And he sure. goes, "I got a thing against dogs." Remember the guy with the hearing problem? He had his name was Lefty or something, Lefty or something, because he couldn't hear. And he's like, "I got a thing against dogs." Oh shit, there's dogs here. And I'm like, what? And he goes, "I got a thing against dogs." And he's like, "And I thought I had a hearing problem." I just remember that. That's how I feel about that. I got a thing against, against clowns. clowns. <laughs> I don't know what it, it's an irrational fear. Oh, Probably shit. John Wayne Gacy. The clown serial killer. Yes, guy. yes, of course. We should do a serial killer podcast. We okay. haven't even done that. And then we should do a and serial you podcast. You don't know my Richard Ramirez story, do you? Serial killer followed by serial. Best serial killers, best serials. Okay. It's a beer, it's a not conscious beer Google's back to back. You're dude, Richard Ramirez, go. Well, he killed someone like a half mile from my house in Southern California when I was in eighth grade. Fuck that. <laughs> exactly. I, and then when he gets arrested, he killed 12 people or something. Uh, Only. Not, Whatever. <laughs> he gets arrested and he walks through the courtroom and he has he holds his hand up. He has an inverted pentagram on his hand and he says, Hail Satan. And I was like, and I'm 13. And I go, oh my God. Holy shit. 
Like what? Oh, and, oh, oh my God. And you're like, that would make a great Hulu documentary. I was someday. like, I need to do a podcast with Mark right now. <laughs> At eight or 10? I, was, th- I was 13. 13. Jesus. Yeah. Half a mile from your I house. was scared to open the windows because it was uh it was summertime, so we had the air conditioning on. It was only like eighty five or something, but my dad was like, Okay, uh it's cool outside, so let's open the windows. I was like, Hell no, we're not opening shit. <laughs> the guys there's a crazy dude killing people. We ain't found shit. Like, dad, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably one of my favorite stories. We should have. That was a story timer. Well, I did, I was going to save it for the serial killer episode, but that was well, just we'll, super. That was yeah. Very sure. short. We'll we'll dive deeper on that. But I sure. I want to. Did you shit yourself at all? At any I point? did not shit anything. Okay, that's no, good. There was no shit. No bricks. Not yourself. Negative. Excellent. How how long were you, how for how long were you scared? Like when it happened to when you felt. Uh, I was eh. really scared the one night that my parents left me alone. Oh, that would they were at, they went on a, they went to a, they probably were at a goddamn Amway meeting is probably what it was. God's damn. Sorry. God's damn Amway meeting selling soap or some shit yeah. or vitamins. So I and I, I remember I was 13. So I was I mean, I was I was an adolescent. But when there's a serial killer on you the can loose, pour yourself a bowl of cereal. That's about all you could do. Well, as I mean, a 13 year old. Let's not cut it. Kid ourselves. Men. We're. we're I, I mean, I was always so in eighth grade. But so I could pretty much I was self sufficient. Yeah. But somebody the the day before, the dude killed somebody half a mile from my house. Right. Oh, this has day, nothing. The next day. This has they, nothing to do with our podcast at all. You were alone the next day. Yeah. The, the next. So yeah. We're to gonna have to deal. So yeah, it was summertime. So I didn't go to school. We're but gonna. The, so deep. it was the next night. Well, fuck that, dude. I don't know what I would do. I'd be like, Mom, Dad, can we like go to Aunt? Yeah. Can I go to your Amway meeting? <laughs> I, I can sell soap, Mom. I'll give a presentation. I don't give a fuck. I'll be a diamond level. I'll present. I don't, I don't even care. I'll be a way am. I'll wear a tuxedo t-shirt, whatever it takes. I love tuxedo t-shirt. Look, you wore it the first day that we had our podcast. Yeah, it, was it was a very great, formal, was a formal occasion. occasion. It was very special. Yeah, it was very special. So, all right. So, <laughs> Georgia boy number three. Here we go. Georgia boy three. Quote, unquote, Westerns have the best villains. May I guess? Sure. Gene Hackman's character. From what movie? Uh, Unforgiven. Yes, Little Bill. Really? Was little, it? Little Just Bill get the fuck out of here. from Unforgiven. I think that's Overrated, Little Bill bro. from Unforgiven. Yeah, I sure. I don't, I don't, I watched it once and I, I, I'm not a Western guy. I, it must be me. It's a me thing. I'll admit it. I like some of them. I'm not, I wasn't into Westworld because of the Western theme. I was more into the computer. It's a good Andrew. story though. Right. It is. And it really isn't about the Western. It's, it's really, not at all. It's the backdrop. It's Correct. really not what it is. And I love Gene Hackman. Yeah. But like, I love Gene Hackman in Get Shorty. I love Gene Hackman in The Heist. Well, One he's, of my, he's Lex Luthor and Superman. Lex Luthor. I mean, Gene Hackman is a, he's so many good bad characters. Yes. Bad guys. Yes. He's a great character. He's just a great actor. Yeah, absolutely. So it's a great choice. I, I'm just not a Western guy. It doesn't resonate with you. How about how do you feel about Western? Um, I, I I never was a big fan because my dad wasn't a fan. So growing up, we never ever 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 watched them. He didn't like John Wayne. He he. So but then as I, you know, as a young adult, um, I started watching movies more in that genre, and I started to like them. But they're definitely not my thing. But I definitely you know I I I like Unforgiven. And I, you know, I've seen a bunch of westerns, but I, I know I'd prefer to watch a sci-fi movie. Right. So me too. I, or a I never got into into westerns at all. And and when I watched them, they just seemed so. First of all, they seemed exactly the same. Like, and they didn't hide it. Like, at least like, in a way, some of these newer movies hide it with you know special effects, and they zhuzh it up a little bit more. Like you can see behind, it's like very bad guy meets good guy. They face off, one wins. Usually the good guy wins. There's a shootout. Yeah, there's usually a shootout of some sort or multiple and whatever. Uh, in, in, in Back to the Future, would time be the villain, or would it be Ooh. would it be that Biff would be would Biff be the villain? What if what if Doc was the villain because he fucked up the timeline? He he's the one who took Marty everywhere. Whoa. Doc was the fucking bad guy. Whoa. The car. The DeLorean. The DeLorean. Another inanimate object. We've got a train now and a car, and we haven't even gotten past Georgia Boy's first choice. Georgia, Georgia Boy, Boy 3. Number two. Second. No, no, I'm with you. I want. Let's stick on no, this, man. No, I, I just, it was a random question. <laughs> I love it. Um, well, so what are your thoughts now that I, thought, that I think it's Doc that actually 
is the one I would jerking. say it's Biff because okay. he, 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 you know, in all three movies, True. Biff always wanted to beat Marty and George's ass, and he... He he stole the almanac from him as the old guy number two, right. and he was like, "What is that on your shoes, Nikkei?" You know, he's in number three, can't fucking read. You know, he's an, he's just a dick in every single one. But but intent does intent to be bad make you a villain? Because like Doc is the one that jerked Marty around the whole time. He almost didn't exist because of him. He almost single handedly killed Marty. But his intention was never. I malice. understand his intention wasn't, but by doing his act, his act was malicious, even if the intent wasn't. Right. So is he? Is he like he's an uh, unassumed bad guy? Like he didn't. It was an unintentional bad guy. Yeah. But he was bad. I mean, in a weird way, he didn't help Marty in a lot of ways. Kind of fucked him a little bit. Uh, that's a very good point. But actually, never mind because he he it was a Michael J. Fox that ran away from the guys. Doc got shot and he ran away and he drove to go back in time. It wasn't Marty to escape the guys with the rocket launcher. Doc did not take a bug. Doc didn't take him back in time. The first time he only did it at the end of the first. You want to sing the song? Going to go back in time. Next on the list, Frank from once upon a time in the West. Don't know these. I have never seen that. Okay. Um, Well, your Georgia boy likes Westerns, but he should like Southeasterns, but whatever. Whatever it takes. Yeah. Congratulations, Georgia boy three. I don't know who it is. I'm not going to, I, I'm not a Western guy. It kind of doesn't show my head. All right. Next. Next. Our super senior executive producer. Super senior executive producer, Mary. From the home office in Scottsdale, Arizona. Ooh. Mary. From our headquarters or home office? I like home office. Home That's office, because I stole it from David. Duke? David Letterman. Oh, yeah. From the home office. Yeah, from the home office. The top Scottsdale, 10. Arizona. The top 10. Number one, Hedley Lamar. Fuck yes. From Blazing Saddles. By yes. We don't need no steam. Bye, Jesus. Bye, Jesus. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. Harvey uh, Corman's fucking hilarious he's in awesome. everything. In, he just in, cracks In uh, History of the World, part one. <laughs> Debonet, count the money. Count nuts, Debonet, Debonet. Every Mel Brooks movie. Yeah, well, of course. It's fucking phenomenal. I don't think he was in Spaceballs, though. I don't. No, I don't think he was. He was not in Spaceballs. Uh, I don't remember. I feel like Mel Brooks, he would have been Mel Brooks' character in Spaceballs had he been. He would have been Yogurt? No, no, the other Mel Brooks character, the bad, the the president of the other. Oh, President plant. Scrooge. Scrooge. Yes. That's what, that's what I think. That's right. Mel Brooks played Yogurt and. And Scrooge. Scrooge. Yeah. Shit. Change my, change my uh, luggage combination. Princess Vespa. <laughs> One. Two, three, four. Does it go to five or is it four? I don't recall. Five. I think it's five. That's, that's a five. fucking hilarious. Next on Mary's list was Cruella Deville. Cruella Deville. All the all the Dalmatians. All of the Cruellas. All the Cruella Devilles. All of them, both the Glenn Close and the Cam. She and was the not car- specific. In the cartoon. Both of them were phenomenal. Yes, great character. I think Glenn. I think Glenn Close's portrayal of her was hard. It's hard to become a caricature or like a cartoon. Yeah. She did a pretty fucking good job. I agree completely. C- congrats. Yeah. Super, sen- super senior executive producer. We might have to get her another uh, promotion. We had to bump her up again. I agree. What I will fuck? work on a new title. Sca- uh, Vice president of talent coordination. Ooh. Something like that. That's maybe? good. We'll, fig- we'll figure it out. Okay. Yeah. She, you know, just getting all our lists for us. Yeah. Oh, she's got all the ideas. She's actually vice president of, she's creative director, vice president, super senior. Yeah. Executive. And stuff. And and things. Also in shit. Yeah. Damn. And man. Biden's other running mate. Or, <laughs> yeah. Two female vice presidents? Actually, no, it's actually Kamala's running mate because Biden's, I don't know. Shut up. I don't know, bro. Shut up. Okay, moving on. We got it. We got it. We got a new guy. <laughs> New guy, new guy. We need a new guy. Fucking button. Jesus. Uh, a lot. This Are is... we taking notes as we do these? Yeah. Because I don't. Okay. Can you do that? We. I. Need, I don't know. No. We need a producer in here to do that shit. Uh Mary. Hello. Hello. Hello, Mary. Where so this at? is Golf Chris. Golf Chris. Just met him on the golf course a month ago. We exchanged numbers. Cool dude. Have you? How many hole? How many holes have you played with him? Eighteen. How many of his holes have you played with? All eighteen. <sighs> Sexy. 
Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's only nine holes on a human. Male. Well, we, pl- you know, we played two nines. Oh, you just play the back nine. <laughs> Ta-da, <dude. laughs> and then the front, and then the front nine. <laughs> You're terrible. Thank so, you. uh, Chris's are Hannibal Lecter, uh, the Joker in Dark Knight, and the honorable mention is Joe, John Doe from Seven. Yeah. And when Kevin Spacey walks into the police department and he's got the white shirt with just the blood everywhere, isn't that kind of what he does? Isn't that what he, then he just walks, he's like standing there, yes. and he's like covered in blood. You're like, uh, he just looks, and he looks so like, he couldn't hurt anybody. He looks so wimpy and weak. And obviously he was a psychopath and obviously he potentially could be a psychopath. Totally. Just saying. I like him better, better as verbal kint slash Kaiser shows. Yeah, that's really good. Moving on to my, uh, another buddy, Matt, he's got Doyle Hargraves in sling blade. I like me them fried taters. Mm hmm. Uh, okay. Thulsa Doom <laughs> in Conan the Barbarian. Conan or Conan? Conan. Because it's Conan O'Brien. It's like it's like Caribbean and Caribbean, depending it's on data context. It's data and data. It's data and data. It's Caribbean, Caribbean. All that shit. It's Conan. Conan. The Barbarian. Conan the Barbarian and Conan O'Brien. Correct. Got it. Yes. Conan. So I don't believe Thulsa is in Conan. Big motherfucker, right? Yeah. Yeah, hey, motherfucker. Holy shit, Kurgan from fucking Highlander. Kurgan. Jesus. Yes. There can be only one. <laughs> that, was, that was a decent come up that was impression, too. That was weird. Uh, honorable mention okay. to Dwight. Eisenhower? From This Boy's Life, played by Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro. I, I don't, don't know I don't, that never movie seen at that. all. I don't know what that is. I've never, I guess there's a new movie we're going to have to not watch. Fuck yeah. I'm yeah, down. let's watch it, bro. I'm super let's excited. Let's watch it. I can't I'm wait. I'm so excited not to watch that. I can't wait. No, it, sound, it sounds great. This Boy's Life? I've never yeah, heard of we'll that. Yeah, we'll have to beer Google that shit. Yeah. IMDb is going to have to be on that pretty badly. Oh, yeah, for reals. All right. Uh, so we're Chris Golf, man. Hold on, hold on. We haven't, we haven't had first time Chris has uh, contributed. All right. Give it up, Chris. Thanks for joining us. Yep. So, are is this like a new relation? Is this a new love, little sparky thing for you two? Uh, yeah, we're golf crushing on each other. I assume. When are you golf crushing again? I don't know. Whenever, when are you going to play the other back nine holes? Uh, I don't know. All right. Probably in a couple weeks. Nice. So, because I was out of town, you know, so I haven't been playing. I like the Chris made a friend. Yeah, because you know you always meet guys in the golf course. And you're like, that was a really good, dude. We probably should have exchanged numbers because yeah. a lot of times it's difficult to get four guys because there's always a wife obligation or I, uh, this real life stand in my vagina or some bullshit. And it's challenging to get four guys every weekend. And it's more challenging for a man to go, excuse me, sir. I had a, a good time with you. I'd like to hang out again. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like seriously, how many guys like it's, you have to really be secure in yourself in your masculinity and be like, Hey, I enjoyed your company as a, right, you're a cool male. guy. Yeah. Do you want to play golf next exactly. weekend? Exactly. Let me get your number, bro. Yeah. Cause we, like, we have an interest. Cool. Yeah. And I it's, love it. it's yeah, I love and he it so lives much. like three or four miles from me. Oh, that's so it. Oh, works okay. out even so he's better. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's not like yeah. he was like up in. No, 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 no. Like we just or met uh, you at the Sholo. Legacy a month ago, and nice or Legacies, two, three weeks ago. Right yeah, 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 yeah. So nice. That's beautiful, man. Yeah, I think one. You know, as we get better at this, and as you know, we get our thirty eleven billion followers. Eleven billion. Um, and you you're going to branch out to your own. I think the Chris makes a friend podcast would be a great title for you. Okay. Chris makes a friend. Sure. Cause I feel like that's, that's you, you have that capacity to just kind of walk pretty much be cool with anybody. Man. Oh yeah. Chris makes yeah. a friend. Don't be a dick, bro. Yeah. Don't be a dick. It's funny how that theme runs through a lot of other podcasts. I concur. But, um, all right. So that we're, uh, I don't know who we talked about just last. So coming up, Mr. Akins from okay. down in Tucson. Can we get those last two again? One more time. Uh, sorry. Uh, Chris golf. Uh, Chris, uh no, we missed one. Chris oh. golf was Hannibal Lecter, the hey, Joker in dark Knight, the Joker, and, dark Knight, and Joe, oh, John Joe right, from, from seven. From and seven. then Matt was, Matt, uh, that's what it was. Matt was, um, Doyle Hargraves and sling, sling blade, sling blade mm-hmm. and Thulsa and doom in Conan, the barbarian crazy. and honorable mention to Dwight from this boy's life. 
those are very obscure. I'm curious how those I was was um who is it Matt? Yes. Was Matt trying to be different or was Matt trying to be I OZ, don't know. Like, I just I asked him how the do you same know him? uh from work. Okay. Cool. I, I um I I asked him the same question I asked everyone else. Yeah. To who's your favorite to Movie villains of all time. Boom. I asked the same question. And it was like, he just spat those out? Um, yeah, within a, within about an hour. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, if it's a text or something, an hour. Makes yes, sense. correct. Cool. So oh, Nice. Congratulations, yeah. Matt. Good job, man. Yeah. Total, very unique choices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, next up, the Honorable Mr. Akins. Neither of mine have been chosen yet of any of yours. No. I like that. Uh, Mr. Akins has Jack Torrance from The Shining. Yep. That was in the running. Kubrick, we talked about it. Yes. Fucking, and Nicholson. I mean, dude's fucking psychotic, and he's good at it. Oh, yeah. The movie's great. Here's Johnny. Anton Chigurth. No Country for Old Men. Yeah, that's Played by Javier Bardem. Javier Bardem. Yes. He's also a bad guy in a James Bond movie where he has, like, blondish, bleached blondish hair. Oh, yeah, with the teeth? Yeah, where he goes in the... No, not Jaws. No... Later, like the new one of the newer ones. Yeah, where oh. he had false teeth. Oh yes, yes. Yeah, it was really and it was, good. He had that nuclear city. Had that yes, city that he yes, bought. Or yeah, whatever. it was really good. Very good. He is his just the way he looks. That's a great answer. That's a f- and that was on the list. That the guy from No Country for Old yeah. Men was on first the cattle prod. Right, you saw the movie. Yes, how he killed him with the cattle prod yeah, thing yeah, yeah. or the exploder thing, the pin, whatever. <sighs> yeah, but that was a slow movie for me. I just thought it was slow, and a lot of people were more into it than I was. But I get it; it totally was good. It was a good move, right? He was—he just looked at you. I'm going to flip a coin, right? It wasn't in the gas station scene. I'll flip a coin. Yes, like if I, dude's dude's, uh, and he was good. James Bond, bad guy too. Oh yeah, that good. was great. Bardem is just a crazy actor, good actor. Yeah, absolutely. Congrats. Good choice. Yeah, good choice, Mister Akins. That was Akins, right? That was Bond. Yeah. All right. Shout out. Next up, we need to ask. We need to ask our boys. We need to ask like Eaton and Lex and okay. Elias. I Don't gotta, you think I need to get enough goddamn responses? No, I'm saying I gotta be more. Oh, I'm trying to reach out to all our people, man. Okay, but I'm did horrible you, at it because I'm so busy trying to make did work. You tweet and, them. No, no, you're already tweeting enough. Make the work. Right, I'm trying. Yeah, bro. you're fucking busy as shit, dude. You're I doing a great job. For self-promoting. <sighs> I know you're doing a fucking great job. So, so thanks, I just, man. I it's love not you. that hard for me to compile a list, bro. But I love you, man. I love you too. We I have so much fun doing this. This I'm not complaining about the time that we put in this because I'm getting a hundred times out of it just sitting here talking with a good friend of mine. Yeah. One of my, if not my best friend. Yeah. For twenty eight tw- years. Twenty eight years we've known each other, man. I love this. This is awesome. We're doing this on a weekday. We just worked a full fucking eight. We're gonna talk Speak for like for yourself. Four. I was on vacation today. Oh. Because our, our our shared birthday. I had to take the I'll day off. Shared birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday to Happy us. Happy birthday to us. Yeah. Do, do we, did we tell everybody why we have a shared birthday? Yes, we did, I think we last, did last time. time. Yeah. Okay. Because we don't know how to do math. The maths is off. Yeah. But I think terrible. we're right dead in the middle. I think our math is dead We are dead, dead in the middle. So Correct. We're good. We're dead yes. in the water. Integral, Green derivatives, pie, <laughs> chocolate cream pie. Javier Bardem. Yes. Bad guy. Moving He's on to. awesome bad guy. Love him. Felicia. Felicia, you're breaking my heart. You're shaking my confidence daily. It's Cecilia. Oh, buddy. Mandy. <laughs> oh, Felicia. You, you came and you gave without taking. And you throw it away. Felicia. Sorry. Sorry that we I'm the worst everybody. Mexican-American idol in the world. What was it? Who's who's the character we're bringing in? Who are we bringing in? Mexicris. Mexicris. Orale. Felicia, what up, girl? Hey, fucker. Hey, Felicia. I can't do it. What up, I, bro? You wrong. got some carne asada or what? You got it. That's yeah. all right. <laughs> Fucking, I'm not. That's a hand. That's a manual clap. That was. <laughs> can you do that one more time, please? Because I think we got to get that on the fuck. Something about carne asada, and you fucking. Brrr, you rolled that oh, off your tongue. Hi. And... <laughs> hi, Felicia. That's the way my uncle sounds. <laughs> brrr, hi, brrr. I just need some. Bump, 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 sounds... bump, 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 bump. <laughs> yes. See. See. I need to come a little bit close to you, my kind of love. <laughs> so <laughs> big and so strong. Come a little bit closer. Was that Los Lobos? When the music stopped, when I looked, the cafe was empty. 
And I heard Jose say, man, you know you're in trouble plenty. No, Jose's farther down the list. Oh, is he? Yes. Shit. Well, this was uh, Jay and the Americans singing a Mexican song. That was weird. Yeah, it's one of my favorite. Oh, Come a little bit closer is like my favorite oldie song of all times. So okay. If if ever someone hacked into any of my bank accounts and it says, what is your favorite song? Not that I ever chose that because I don't think that's a question. But if there was a question in there and I chose it, type in, come a little bit closer. Oh. Just saying. Spaces it's or no spaces? Um, like the title with spaces and oh, caps. Spaces. I, I don't know if oh, it's. Oh, and I don't, caps. Well, Ooh, I don't know if it's. That's tricky, bro. Do you think it's. Uh, are answers to security questions case sensitive, like passwords? I don't think they are. I don't know. I think they're I don't just work for the bank. Sensitive. Neither do I. Or other institutions that would have secondary questions to their. Secondary. Login, to their online login. Uh, platforms. Yes. Welcome to the to uh, nerd hour. Uh, nerd two hours, actually. Uh, Informationsecurity.com. <laughs> All right. So, Felicia. Um, Felicia. Number one, Heath Ledger's Joker. That's the third time. Yes, sir. We've had two lectors, three three Heath Ledger Jokers. Something yes, like that? that's okay. correct. Just trying to keep count. Number two, Mr. Grinch. Carrie? Because he, she did not state, but okay. he, he did steal Christmas. Both Carrie and the cartoon would be perfect because uh, the voice of the, of yes, the Grinch it's is very like, good. Yeah, you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Isn't is, and it's like a famous guy. It's like a really famous guy who did the cartoon. I, I believe you're correct. I'm gonna have to look that up while we're talking. Can okay, you, can you take this for a second? I, I would type love on to the, take on the it keyboards. For a I do love the dog that tries to be a reindeer and pull the huge sleigh. <laughs> As the dog barks in the background, that's not ironic at all. When you need 10,000 um, spoons and all, you get a spork. Alanis, could we have you? Alanis to the front. Alanis. Al- please need, pick up need, a white please, courtesy please. phone. <laughs> the white courtesy Alan- phone is for Alanis to pick up and tell us how ironic that is. But the red courtesy phone is for loading and unloading only. Bullshit. The The white phone has always been for calling Alanis Morris that about Betsy. ironic things. This is about the abortion, isn't it, Bob? <laughs> We cross too many streams. Do you man. think the red phone or the white phone was a villain in airplane? Oh man, is the air, is or was it the food? Bum bum bum. Oh, Not the... only who didn't have fish, but didn't... <laughs> start typing dork. Oh, what are we looking up? I don't even know. Oh, Grinch. Grinch. Who the voice, voice of, of the Grinch? Cartoon Grinch. Yeah, keep going, man. You're good. Uh, my friend Rob would know this, by the way, because he told me this. That's how I know. No, keep going, man. You're good. Uh, Boris Karloff was a narrator. Boris Karloff? Yeah. A Russian? Yeah, don't you remember Bar Yes. I know the name. Um is That's uh, the narrator though. Oh. The Grinch. Well, I think you that's mean, who. And that what the movie is very very old, like the 50s, yeah, right? Yeah, 66. Oh, I was way off. Yeah, but I was no, off. By, 50s is right. I was off by 9 years. So Sure. Uh, that's what it shows. I don't know. Cast in credits of order. Boris but obviously, it's yeah, a, he is the Grinch. Yes, so Boris Karloff. It's, it's is obviously a classic, right? Oh, it's and they play it every classic. year. And Boris Karloff is a known. Do you not know? Does yeah. that name not? Yeah, resonate? it's very, very. Yeah, he's a very I, well-known person. Yeah, did I'm pulling up? Oh, Bride of Frankenstein. Yeah, that's why I know it. Black Friday, Mummy. He did a lot of oh, horror types, old school stuff. House of Evil, Crimson Colt, Snake People. Oh Get yeah, these motherfucking snakes off these motherfucking people. <laughs> he he did that too. Anyway, I don't. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're a mean one in the overhead compartment. Please keep your Grinches and your snakes in your overhead compartments at in all times. In the upright position at all times? Yes. All right. My snake's uh, always in an upright position, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're, cl- we're cleared for landing. Please put your snakes away. <laughs> I like my snake in the upright position. Honorable mention from Felicia. Yes. Prince Humperdinck from... You don't know this one? I just need to be told. I'll know. Humpadink, humpadink, humpadink. I'm not a witch. I'm your wife. Come on, dude. Bro, just. As you wish. Princess oh, Bride. Oh, Princess fucking Bride. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, you have to say, never start a land war in Asia. <laughs> <laughs> Inconceivable. Inconceivable. You keep using that word, and I do I need to deal with my daughter. You get my father prepared to die. I'm sorry, Indigo. I didn't mean to talk him so hard. And he's like, you know, you know, Fred Savage, Columbo here. uh, (laughs) During 
That was good. Kevin, that was a I'll, good I'll, Columbo. I do. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. I just just have one more question. Your just Columbo question. and your Gilbert Godfrey are close, though. They're close because they are similar. But your your Gilbert's a yelling. Col- uh, Peter yes, Falk. Gilbert Godfrey's up yeah. another. Excuse me, just one more second, ma'am. I just have one more question. Where's it? What the fuck is going on here? Those are one t- makes those the dogs bark and one doesn't. Right. Correct. Columbo. Peter Falk makes him go to sleep, ma'am. Yeah. Just one more question, ma'am. I, I love Peter Falk. Yeah. Falk him. He's great. Whoa. No, he's great. Cool. I think I that like was him. a very, I like that choice. That was very like obscure yeah. and cool. I, I was very, I was like, that was awesome when I got Never that. Never thought a land war in Avia. <laughs> <laughs> but I knew that you'd switch it, so I switched it back. I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me. I say that all the time <laughs> and about. <laughs> but knowing that you know that I know. <laughs> right. The do you do that at dinner pirate. before you order your turkey burger? Or what of course. Do you, do you do I can that? clearly not choose a turkey burger in front of me. Should you just do it when they, when they pour the water for you? I can yeah. clearly choose not the, gla- the glass. I can say me. that about anything, dude. I can clearly not do this. Uh, da, 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 da. You can I, say that about I anything. I can clearly choose the hooker whose legs are spread before me. <laughs> exactly. I can clearly not choose the pile of cocaine in front of you. By the way, I apologize that you don't have a hooker on our shared birthday. I know. Where is my um, midget hooker? The, my... My check bounced too. Oh no! I'm sorry, bro. I but didn't even it, know hookers. But the took, intent was to buy you a hook. I didn't know that hookers took checks. Well, just know that the intent was to Can't get you, you swipe one. your credit card in their butt crack. You can, Charge but they're it. mag stripe. They need the chip now. Oh, they need the chip they don't implant. Take the stripes no That's more. not required till 2022. Okay, EMPs, so, bro. Yeah, they just. Yeah. Yeah, but they. It's funny, but they take WIC. It's really weird. Of course they do. They, and they take uh, food stamps. Of it's really they do. odd. Hookers who take food stamps. That's a pretty interesting concept. Moving along. Please, God help us. <laughs> <laughs> Next up. I couldn't afford a hooker for you on our birthday. That doesn't mean you should get all mad at well, me. Well, I mean, I can. I just don't want to get arrested. Or, you know. Oh, that's right. Back page is no chlamydia. Longer. Yeah, you don't want chlamydia. No shit. You, you don't want this every time you stand up. Applause. A clap. <laughs> Isn't that what chlamydia is? Isn't that standing ovation? Is, is like, chlamydia- every time you get up, it's a standing ovation. That's how much of the clap you have. That's what I, that was always oh our joke. You know there's uh, an H in jokes. chlamydia? There's a what? There's an H. Yeah, C- like chlamydia? <laughs> yeah. I thought it was C-L-A-midia. I didn't know there was an H in it until about a month ago. Also, chimera. Chimera has an H. It does? Doesn't it? C-H-I-M-E-R-A? I don't know. Chimera. I just, Your band. I know. Is- I really like them. Isn't it? They chimera? broke up, but it's Chimera. I, I didn't know if there was an H in it. H. I think every bad disease has an H in it. It's chimera is not a disease. HIV. Chi- remember Chimera from Mission Impossible, the bad. Remember that? But that's what they named it. That's, I know. Chimera is not a disease, though. I know it's not a disease. I'm saying they named that virus Chimera in Mission Impossible. I understand and that. And Chlamydia and HIV. Chlamydia? <laughs> this is a horrible conversation. This is the worst. Okay, so moving along. Yeah, but we've got a better tangent than this. We do? Yes. What's that? Well, that you don't have the clap. I don't. You don't Thanks have the chlamydia. Gods. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, it reminds me of Hudson Hawk. Remember the bad guys who were all Kit Kat and Butterfinger? They were all the, the bad guys. How about being named venereal diseases? <laughs> How'd you like to be called chlamydia for a year? Remember the black woman in that? No, she, I, that movie's terrible. Bro, that is... I like know you. It's kind of like ever. your stupid Ford Fairlane. And it's got the bad the guy with a good booming voice who died. James Coburn. Remember him? No. James Coburn. I know James Coburn, but I don't remember the movie. Oh God, I just remember Bruce underrated. Willis on the uh, on the stretcher. Oh, the stretcher. the stretcher. Yes, with Frank Stallone chasing him. Yeah. <laughs> like, such a good movie. They couldn't even afford Sylvester. No. They probably couldn't even afford Frank. <laughs> no. Next. All right, man. So go ahead. Up next is Mr. Simpson. Felicia. That was Felicia, correct? That was Felicia. Excellent choices, by yes, the way. For real. Very unique. Yeah. I love the Grinch one. Yeah. Karl- Karloff is just the voice is just so good. Yeah. Sorry. Next up, Mr. Simpson. Angus Scrim from Phantasm. Jesus. If you're into horror type movies. Yeah. That's cool. And also Jack Torrance from The Shining. Yeah, definitely into horror movies. <laughs> Sounds like that's cool. Good for him. Yeah, totally cool. What about Pinhead? Or oh, yeah. remember the guy? Remember the Sam Neil? 
he was the guy who played the Jurassic Park, the first Doctor yeah, Jurassic yeah, Park, yeah, right? Yeah. He was the bad guy in the Event Horizon. You uh, remember that horror movie? I, With Lawrence Fishburne? I, I just couldn't. Creepy. It was creepy, though. It was bad. Yeah, I really want to watch that again. It got bad. It. Because yeah. I didn't understand it. I didn't either. I agree. Because it's a sci-fi movie, right? And then it's it gets, kind of, but it's more like the, a sci-fi horror movie. Like, right. It's almost and like I didn't what, understand the, what was happening. Yeah. And they encountered this weird thing in space. Yeah, it was another ship that they. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, I don't yeah. get it. Yeah, I agree. But he was really good, and he's just a good bad guy too. Because I've seen him do bad stuff, so I don't know why that came to my mind. Because you're amazing. Oh, I think because of Phantasm. Sure, Phantasm. And then made me think of Needleface, Pinhead guy Pinhead, from yeah, Hellraiser. Yeah, yeah. Is yeah, that yeah. The Hellraiser guy. Yes. No, Mike is. Myers. No, Jason. Interesting. Yeah. Right. Maybe we'll get there. Yeah. I I know I didn't choose them, but okay. So very nice. Uh, horror movies yes. across the board. His, uh, his, Once again, not my genre, but right. Once, please. His lovely them. wife Teresa, Hannibal Lecter, and Hans Gruber. Third time, second time. Yes. Hans Gruber. That launched Alan Rickman's uh, career or, in the United States, 1988. I don't know how old he was, 30, maybe? Um, 30, 40? He died young. He did. It's a loss. He was good. Fuck, yeah. he was good. And he's good in everything. Even I'm a seraphim. Like, even in Dogma, where he played the angel. Oh, my God, he was so good, I'm dude. the voice of God. He was when you hear God, you hear me, because you can't hear the voice of God. Who is Alanis Morissette in that movie? What a of fucking course. callback. It's always about her, dude. It's always about her. What? A, how ironic is that? Ironical. It's Alanis Morissette is the voice of God, yet you can't hear her talk. Yes. That's ironic. Don't Whoa. you think? Yeah. It's like rain on a rainy day. <laughs> yeah. On a wedding day. Or, or you know, Both. Thousands, thousands of different utensils. utensils. Exactly. Plastic wear. All that shit. It's like plastic wear when what you need is silverware. It's sporks from Taco Bell. I love sporks from Taco Bell. Do you know what they're getting rid of at Taco Bell? Uh, it might not affect plastic you Plastic straws. Nope. Food. It's a food item. Uh, that Megzi and I, That's it's our go-to. The go cinnamon twists. Nope. I love uh, those. Though. Seven layer burrito. No. Mexican motherfucking pizza's oh, Mexican going pizzas, away in yeah. November. Yeah. What the fuck, man? Why would they do that? It must not sell. That's I do like that. That's one of their better things. It's like their best thing because it's flour tortilla. It's a flour tortilla, not a corn. Yeah, it's that lighter. It That's, is crispier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Megzi doesn't remember, but you might remember the taco light. No, it was. Do you know what the taco salad looks like? It's that flour shell. Is it tossed? <laughs> Only if I toss. <laughs> um, you know the taco shell is a flour shell. Yes, right? of course. Well, think of that in a taco shell. Just the shell itself, like a taco was the flour, and it was crunchy. It was the best thing, and it disappeared. They just went away. I, I looked up the commercial a couple couple of weeks ago. I don't remember the last time I went to Taco Bell. Maxie and I go more than we should. Well, we're not going to go after November, I'll tell you that much. Trying to... Are you, you going to buy, like, 50 of them and put them in the freezer? Ew, no. Well, that you could defrost them and put them in the toaster oven. What, what are we... What are, we're going to keep them in that little shitty box they put them in? I, I don't we know. Could, I'm, trying, I'm trying seal. to find you a solution, bitch. What... Thank you. I love that you're solutions oriented. Thank you. I'm we'll, a solutions we'll provider. Talk, we'll talk more. Okay. <laughs> we'll talk more offline. Okay. But I, I am on down. Hello, Twitter world. If you know a way that we can preserve a, mo, a myriad, uh, myriad taco uh, Mexican pizzas from Taco <laughs> Bell, please, uh, please let us know below. Which is OJ's favorite. OJ's favorite, and and the future's favorite, like Demolition Man, who's invited me to the Taco Bell. Who was that? Sylvester Stallone. That was, that was Sylvester Stallone? I know it was bad. Shut up. It was horrible. Hey, yo. I That's can, good. I, hey, Adrian. Hey, yo. I can, do a little, I can do a little Sylvester Stallone if you need me. I'm from Philadelphia. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. I don't hit so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Moving along. This one went sideways quickly. But and it's still fun. They always go sideways. They go like upside down. They roll. They completely. They flip or they flip roll. and roll. Okay. Well, it depends. If Chris signs, if Chris signs talking, they fucking flip because he doesn't know the fucking difference. Well, he says roll, but he it's flip is accurate. He says flip. No, he says flip, and he means roll. Oh yes. Because cars don't roll. Cars don't necessarily flip. They generally roll. Yes. You don't have a flip over accident. Just saying. You're correct, and he's a dipshit. Yep. Even though he was an Alabama flip tied crimson tied. Offensive lineman. Flip tied. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but he was like a third stringer, dude. That dude weighed, how much could he have weighed? I don't most. know. He looked pretty. 280? He looked pretty, yeah, he looked yeah, pretty but, chunky. But linemen were like three, 
three ten of fucking Alabama. Every one of them. Well, this was like twenty five years ago. That's true, but even that back then, that's when they ran the ball all the fucking time. It's just true. Fucking that's true. Just big motherfucker. Let's big. not talk about the news guy. I'm sorry I brought it up. We're talking about Alabama. I tell you what, it's okay. We we'll talk about the flip tide. All the tides. All right. Next. War Eagle. <laughs> okay, Auburn. Auburn. Next up, my cousin Jose Luis. Oh, I thought you said my cousin Vinny. I'm like, what no. the fuck is that? I don't that have a cousin a Vinny. My cousin Jose. No, no, I meant the movie. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, he's got Hannibal Lecter. Jose has Hannibal. And that's a fourth Hannibal, correct? Yes. Okay. And Thanos. From from the Avengers. Avengers. That was a good one. It came up a couple times. I didn't want to go superhero, supervillain main, mainstream. Yeah. That's why I didn't choose like a Hackman, although Hackman as Lex would have been great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, didn't choose, I didn't choose Joker because of that same thing, because it was a superhero type movie. But they're all good choices. Yes. Yeah. Thanos and... Yeah. The other one? And uh, Hannibal, right? Yeah. All right. What else we got? Uh, Golf Adrian has Kevin Spacey in seven. And the Joker? Still no Kaiser Shose. They've nope. chosen seven, the seven guy three times now, but not him as Kaiser Shose, who he's a way bigger role in that. He's way bigger. Oh, in, yeah. The whole movie is about him. Right. He, that whole The entire monologue, interview. Yeah. Right. I remember being in a barbershop quartet in Skokie, Illinois. Like, right. That whole fucking thing was him. He barely was in seven. Barely. 10 minutes? 20? I don't, I don't know. I don't think he was in there. I'll, I'll talk. We'll do a stopwatch on it, but I can tell you that he's in Usual Suspects like all but twenty minutes of that, all but ten minutes of that, probably. Sure. Anyway. Uh, get, get it, mate, motherfucker! It is a motherfucker. Remember that? Got a car. Got a car, motherfucker. Yeah. When they asked Wolfman to do it, what's Benicio del Toro? So weird. Yeah. You're so weird. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Uh, next up is Tolly. Who's Tolly? My buddy Brian Tollison. Tolly. Oh. He's got Darth Vader. Second time. And Jaws. That's a great villain. Which was one of my... Whittle that was downs. one of my six that I immediately thought of. You had three animals. Two of them were fictional animals. Uh, or I, species. I have a, quite a few non... Non-human. Non-humans. You had at least three of the six or seven. Three. I did. Three. Did yes. you have three or did you have more than three? I had, th I think. Because you have the shark. I had. And well, we talked about you, the other I'll two. I'll get to my list. I know we'll get to your list. I was just saying that's pretty impressive. Thanks. I did not have an, a non-human item. That's the first thing I thought of was non-humans. Right. I mean, obviously I went to Alien but and yeah. I went to Predator. Those were my two that I went to when I, like, when you talk bad guys. Right. Motherfucker. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Jaws is a great choice though. Yeah, I agree completely. All right. And I, I think... Can Richard Dreyfuss's voice be the villain in Jaws? Absolutely. fucking lutely No, your <laughs> oh, accent, oh <laughs> your impression of his voice is the villain. Wow. That's sad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, ladies Oh, and shit. Okay, that moving really on to fun. the lovely Meg Z. Meg Z. She's got Debo from Friday. Debo! That was my bike. Bye, Felicia. That was my bike. But would well, come on, Depot. What, what do you mean? I'll knock your ass out. Wouldn't Big Worm? That's we talked about. That. Be the or Big Perm. What up, Big Perm? I mean, Big Worm. Twenty, forty, sixty. Where 80. my? Where's my weed, Smokey? I got your weed, Big Perm. I mean, Big Worm. Wouldn't so? Who would be the villain? No, 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 not that. We talked about whether Big Worm or or Debo was the real villain. Two things. One, Big Worm was afraid of Debo, Megzi pointed out to me, which oh, I don't remember that, but I believe her because she's an honest individual. Uh, she wouldn't make that up. She wouldn't make that up. It's so, Friday. And I think, I think something, I think Debo just scared everybody as a person, right? As an imposing character, Tiny, whatever his name was. Yeah. But also Big Worm didn't really get the guys and there was a confrontation at the end between Debo and Ice Cube's character. So because of that, he had he was more of a, con, a constant villain throughout. And he was the neighborhood bully, like the neighborhood villain. So either one would have sufficed for me. I went to Big Worm because I want to hear Chris Tucker say, Big Perm! Hey, Big Perm. I mean, Big Worm. I mean, Big Worm! What up, mother? 
Corbin. Corbin, my man. Corbin. <laughs> oh, we're back. Uh, Dallas. Corbin. Are we going to cut that out? I need some oxygen out there. Dude, that was, I that actually think that was really good. You gotta Did put, I actually say something or actually make fun of someone? That was fucking gibberish, but I loved it. Total gibberish. It was totally amazing gibberish. It was the scene where he's smoking the weed with the angel dust in the back of, uh, I think, a back of Jose's car or something like when I, Hey, what's up, Smokey? <laughs> Fucker, come back in here. I was on Smokey. He's what got angel dust. Hey, take it easy, man. It's got angel dust on Hey, what up, fucker? You just smoke angel dust. Hey, fucker, you want to go <laughs> get some tacos? <laughs> and then, <laughs> I've never done it that well before, <laughs> and I'm glad we so can't great, edit that out. dude. I love that oh, shit. Oh, man. That was weird. We need a gibberish button. I hope that no one starts the podcast at one hour forty seven. I hope they do. Seconds. I hope everyone does. Because they're like, what the fast fuck forward one forty seven, bitches. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> the gibberish segment. <laughs> you know, I should. You know what we should do? We should have. <laughs> we should really maybe take a snippet or two out of each future podcast. Yeah, and then just tweet it after we just little, after we record it. So clip. this is microbes, bro. Micros Pro. Yes. Like, this is what we recorded today. That just sounds like, that sounds like Mexican Elmo, dude. Mexi. Elmo. <laughs> that sounds like Mexi Elmo. Oh, my God. We should I, go to a Filiberto's drive-thru and you order in, like in Mexi Elmo style. I want two tacos. I like two tacos, please. And 17 enchiladas. Can I have two carne asada, please? And 17 modelos. And I like Bill Grande, please. And Mexican pizza. <laughs> have you ever watched The League? I don't think you have on FX. No. Oh, man. That's just a great show. I'll have to get you hooked on that one, too. Great. There's, there's like an Elmo-type character in it, which is just fucking funny. But anyway. I digress uh, after that gibberish that I okay, just Okay, after Debo on your chicks list is Miranda Priestley from The Devil Wears Prada. Excellent choice. Played by, is it Angelica Houston? No, it's... Uh, the other, Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep can be a bad bitch. Oh, yeah. I would not fuck with every that movie, But she's amazing in every movie. Absolutely. I mean... 100%. Yeah, every movie she's in, she's great. And Anne Hathaway's good in that. Oh, yeah. Uh, that movie's well... I'm actually considering watching it with Megzi again. It's really good, dude. It is. I'm not going to lie. It's I'm not a, a fashion person, obviously. Right, and it's, it's definitely lean towards... It's for the ladies. It's for the women. But it's a good movie. But it is a really good movie that I could watch. It's yes. what I would call a movie that has enough intrigue, enough like stake in it for me to be... Or sizzle for me yeah. to like be interested as well. Yeah. So congratulations on how well mo that movie was done yes. to capture a male audience, too. Because yes. I find those things very challenging for men. Yes. Uh, for me, as a I, man. I, yes. Then, after you watch the movie, you duct tape Megzi to the chair and force her to watch two videos from the metal band The Devil Wears Prada. Okay. It's only six minutes. Do I use those yes. clockwork orange openers with yes. the eye drops? And she's like... You will force her eyeballs open. Please stop. Please to stop to this. Da, 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 da. Ooh, okay. Ooh, ooh. Cookie, 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 cookie. Yes. So Christopher has told me that uh, the Devil Wears Prada band was out before the Devil Wears Prada movie. Uh, they they stole the they stole the movie title from the metal band. Was there is there a lawsuit? Do you think? I doubt it. Their metal band is so Nobody not or, popular. Or uh, I mean, unless you're a metalhead, you don't even know who they are. Right. But I mean, are they making a career doing metal? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. But very small. You know, they they only <laughs> they only play clubs and stuff like that. Imagine if they sued and they're like, though, that's our name, bitches. And then they just get point zero zero one percent of the of the revenue of they should. Devil Wars Prada. I'm just saying, they don't have to ever fucking do another thing in their life. Well, that they is, still would as a cash put out cow. albums and. You know, well, I'm saying tour. they wouldn't have to. Yeah, I'm saying of they course, could live just extra revenue. Right, they could live off those. Uh, Jerry Seinfeld royalty checks. Super 20 cent checks. Super happy fun time hour. The yes. one cent checks. <gasps> my hands are rubber. <laughs> Why is my hand like a claw? It's those checks, Jerry. Super happy fun time. All right. That's an excellent, excellent choices, Megzi. Yes. I, yes. Debo from Friday. Yeah. Debo, that's my bike. Come on, Debo. You know I let you borrow that bike. I need my bike back. So, it's mine. And then, uh, and then, Meryl Streep's character. Yeah. Miranda Priestley. Jace. From Le Devil Wear Prada. 
Terror was rara. C. C what? Jace. Right, what's going on? Nothing. Oh. Nada. <laughs> Nada. So last on the list next oh. to ours, sir. Yes, sir. I saved, in my opinion, the best for last. I put this on the bottom of the list purposely. Okay. Rear Admiral Daniel Gibson. Naval salute. From the belly button. From the everybody. belly button. I believe his answers are the best. Dan, I actually, it's funny. I was going to reach out to Dan about the other thing we're trying to get him to come on for. Yeah. But I didn't. Wow. I don't know if I had the guts right. Because I don't I'll bug him. I'll text him. I asked him. And, you know, like, I wasn't going to bug him. He told me he was busy, like, a month or two ago. Yeah. But I think I think it's enough time. I think it's been two months, probably. So I probably... Uh, he texted me on Monday. Oh, nice. my birthday, so... Hi, Danny. What How up? you doing, buddy? What is, he, is he still in Texas? I don't know. Or where is he? Where I don't would you know. Think? Oh, I'll know. ask him. Texas, Colorado, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Montana, Maine, Montana. Michigan. Fuck, Alabama, I don't know. Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas? Yeah, California, all that shit. Colorado, Connecticut? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Florida. Delaware? Florida. Georgia? Yeah. Hawaii, Idaho, Wherever, Illinois, they're, Indiana? They're, he's in the mountains. Mountains. Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, yeah. Louisiana, Maine. Shut up. All right. First on the Admiral's list. You ready? Dr. Evil from Austin Powers. I didn't even know, man. And I I blew his load already. The laser. The laser. Scotty, one million dollars. <laughs> Scotty, no. No. I don't speak freaky deaky Dutch. Such Daniel, a good choice. Phenomenal choice. Yes. I, why not mini me though? When they bite <laughs> him in the nuts, like in the space station. That's, what, he's in a he's in a big boy. What can you really? <laughs> that was a great movie. Can you oh really? God, whole, no, you can't. Mini me is he, he would be a mini villain. He would. He'd only be part partial villain. Yes. He. You could have two and a half choices. Correct. Or one and a half. Choices. An extra honorable mention. You'd have two minis and one maxi. Yes. Or none. Correct. Yeah, that's all that shit. Danny, awesome choice. Love it. We're gonna use lasers and we're gonna put them in the sharks. <laughs> With all the air quotes. With all the air quotes. <laughs> and lastly, bated breath, my friend. My favorite selection from Spaceballs. Dark helmet. <laughs> Rick fucking Moranis is a bad guy. My <laughs> favorite selection. Dude, Rick Moranis is the worst bad guy. And I don't <laughs> that's it's what makes the worst selection. best bad guy. Well, that's what makes the selection the best. Yeah. Because right? it's it's fucking Rick Moranis and he's got glasses on under, under the, fucking helmet. the helmet, which is a fucking trash can on his fucking head. When he it's basically walks a rubber made. The opening scene. How do you breathe in this? I can't breathe in this. <laughs> I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. <laughs> that sounded like Bane, but that was pretty good. Well, I mean, it's, it's the same thing. Hello, hello, Batman. We can go into the sewer system, Batman. That's a pretty decent one. It's a good Bane. I'll, yeah, I'll take Better it. than your dark helmet. <sighs> Probably. Princess Vespa. God, that's... Comb the desert. Fucking all of it. Comb, we we found, found shit. shit. Comb Jinx. the desert. You owe me another Coke Zero, sir. Oh, no. Watch out. Well, so... <laughs> we're two hours in. Almost... Not not really, because we're going to edit a little bit of this out. Just the beginning. But we're probably an hour 50 in. 50 sure. change. Yeah. And now it's time for you and I, sir, to really hit the next two hours running. And sure. Talk about <laughs> My feet are already four, tired, bro. I know. Seriously. <laughs> we're sitting and I'm tired. Um... All right, so I think, would you like to go first sure. and third, and I will go second and fourth? Sure. Third? Oh, okay. Let's do it that way. So, so give us give us another breakdown. How many Hans Grubers? That's three know, Hans Grubers, dude. four Hannibal Lecters. I don't want to go through this list again. No, you don't have to. I thought you counted them, bro. No. I thought I asked you to do that. Maybe that was senior executive vice producer uh, Mary's Super job. senior. So, oh, a super lot. Senior. It was a lot of all of them. It was a lot of all of them. So we had about three or four. How about I just count the them and we'll post them. I love it. Let's okay. do it. Yeah, sure, because I have time for that. Fuck. Yeah. No, I'll send them to you. I know. I'm joking, bro. And you I just copy it. and paste it. I will do that. You know I love Dick. you, bro. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. You, would you There's, like... My, would you? I like, think Chris is my new fucking favorite movie villain, but he's a you podcast like, villain. Would you like my honorable mentions? I would. Let's start with your honorable mentions. Kale. Fuck Kale. <laughs> Two. Okay. What? Cats. Fuck cats. Kale is your... V, is your 
Villain? Every time Kale is used in any movie, fuck it. <laughs> so every piece of Kale and every cat. Yeah, fuck all that shit. That's a beautiful. You're welcome. <laughs> Those are the and yeah, I'm glad you waited because that's even better than Dark Helmet. No, sir. fuck Kale, fuck Kale cats. and cats. Yeah, like not the not just the musical. Every cat, and every fucking thing. correct. Fuck Jesus. cats. Fuck Kale. Cat's eye is a hero though. I don't, I don't care. In Steven Spielberg's Cat's Eye, he, the cat's fuck the cats. Hero. Fuck Kale. All right, that's fine. <laughs> All right, well, my my other honorable mention: uh, Jaws, Alien, Hannibal. I mentioned Cape Fear. I mentioned Psycho. Um, T two, the 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 shapeshifter guy. T one thousand. T one thousand. That's on my sir. fucking list. Asshole, that was my as an honorable mention as well. Okay, I agree with you. T one thousand. I'm going to have to go, um, fuck, this is going to be rough, dude. Well, we're doing, hold on, those are your honorable mentions. Yeah, I, got, I, well, I, I, have, I oh. have one more honorable mention, and I don't know which one I'm going to do. Can you do two or three? Just take them all. Give me all of them. Well, They're then I've got, I got two left, and one of them has to be my final two. Oh, okay, got it. Well, so, um, this is going to be recorded for posterity I know, this all the sure. time. I've got a couple honorable mentions. You're going to be like, no shit. How about that? And I can't believe no one brought this one up, honestly. But anyway. I'm going to have to go with Predator as my last honorable mention. I think it's a great choice. So okay. that means I know, I definitely know one of your two choices. You don't know either of my two choices. Really? How much oh, you, you said to... Alien. That's right. Never yeah. mind. Are you ready for my honorable yes, mention? Yes, go. My honorable mention number one, Mr. Anderson. Very good. Not a single fucking person picked Hugo Weaving from fucking. He's amazing Matrix. in everything, dude. He is amazing in everything. Well, I mean, I didn't watch Lord of the Rings. He's great, dude. He's, he's a good guy in that, isn't he? Yeah, he's an okay. elf. He's yeah, great. He's, oh, oh I'm, I'm, yeah, that's right. I'm supposed to know that elves are I'm good in fucking Lord of the Rings. What the fuck, man? Fuck, I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're like, he's an elf. Of course he's good. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, he's an, he's an orc, so he must be evil? Like, I don't fucking know, bro. I withdraw the statement, Your Honor. Fuck. Thank you. Jesus. But he's a good guy. Yes. He's got a bow and arrow, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. that? And okay. he has I've hair, watched like three minutes of each before ears, falling asleep. And then you took a nap. I didn't. The nap took me, actually, because <laughs> that movie took me on a nap. It, just, it picked me up and just swaddled me and rocked me gently to sleep I had a, with my, walking trees and fucking and nothing. I, I had a whoopee, and I was still sleepy <laughs> time. So, Mr. Anderson, fucking Agent Smith was not chosen. And without Smith, Keanu Reeves just sounds like a fucking other douchebag from Chain Reaction or any other shitty movie he did. Good point. Right? Like, yeah. Was, yeah, like, yeah. Fishburne and Smith in that you're a virus, like you take over, you know, like that whole interaction between he and, and it's funny cause they, they thought he was trying to do some kind of voice, but it turned out he was trying to be like a fifties news reader or something. I read, I learned a lot of weird shit by, by doing this. So anyway, that would be one of my, uh, honorables. Another honorable mention. Once again, we went through Kubrick. So hello, Dave. Hello, Dave. I'm sorry, Dave. I can't do that. Come on, fucking yeah, Hell 9000 is fucking... Yeah. And, it, like, and it, I don't even know if that's intentional. I think it's for survival, right? Jack Torrance, obviously, was mentioned. Here's one that was not mentioned, and when I saw it on the list, I went, holy fuck. And I thought it was the greatest one. Do you remember the name Aaron Stamper in a movie? Yeah. I don't... I know Stamper. The movie was Primal Fear. Okay. And it was Ed Norton's character that killed the priest in the beginning. And remember, ha, 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 he would like, hello, hello, Richard Gere. I, I, I didn't mean to do it. And he had that bipolar thing. Yeah. And have you ever seen that movie? Yeah, but I it's can't been a while. spoil that movie. That it's movie. It's been a while. I'm not going to spoil it, but basically, fucking Edward Norton, I think it's his first role before he even did any of the other stuff. Before he did, what was his other uh, American History X? Yeah, that was sick and. Sickingly, oh, man, sickingly was, good. He, Disturbing. The, he's just good. The scene with the uh, Italian job. He was good in. Uh, yeah, the curb stomping. Yeah, like, that bothers me to this day. I, I, it's don't, I can't even talk about it. It's horrible, dude. Put your teeth on that. Oh god, oh, dude. Fuck, I just can't. All right, so those are, yeah, so those are my honorable mentions. Well, let's go. Let's go to your. Let's go to your. What final. do you think my two are? You thought it was Alien. Well, no, no. You said Alien, so yeah, it didn't so matter. It's, if guess beforehand, I would have guessed Alien, 
Paul Reiser, <laughs> or hold on, didn't I have four of them? I had uh, Ash from Alien. Yeah. The, the Andrew, the first Andrew, the bad one that yeah. turned. Then Paul Reiser, the Alien, and Michael from Michael either Myers. Prometheus or whatever. Like, oh. Hello, yeah, David. David Dave, slash Michael. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't there two of them? Like, Fastbender. Fastbender. Yeah. Um, Dave, yeah, uh, but for me, I hated Prometheus I, so much. I know, much. But, but dude, uh, He's the other really one was good. so good. So good after. What was the one after? A, a, a reckoning. Uh, fuck. Prometheus. Uh, and and whatever the one it was. The second one. Yeah. But Which I liked. First of all, that one explained how the shittiness of the other one. And it was good on its own with the two going against each other. I know. Just saying. And that's why I thought you might have chosen that. Because remember, Fastbender played good guy, bad guy. Yes, Andrew. yes, that yes. That was yes. fucking great. Awesome, awesome. Covenant. 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 Alien that's Covenant. It. Thank you. Yeah. So... Um, I would have guessed one. I would have guessed an alien bad guy, and I don't think you're a basic bitch. But I would guess Vader. And Vader's. I I couldn't choose Vader. Right, the greatest of all time. Because I I knew everybody else would. Yeah, and, and not that many people did. I was surprised. And I, and I think that I think the other movies ruined the purity of Vader, the Anakin stuff, and it ruined. How it, it the watered pure it down. evil of him. Well, it did. It watered it down because it showed other bad guys in the same level. You know what I mean? Like, so it, it watered down Darth Vader's presence in that universe. Yes. By having just as many other bad guys after him. In a weird way. Does that make sense? Uh, it does. Like the general. Yeah. I, the general's fucking. What's his? Not Emperor. The uh, Vader. Let him down. Put him down, Vader. That guy, the fucking old dude with the... We, Alderaan is too... Uh, Alderaan will, oh, have yeah. to, will have to make a great demonstration. Uh, right? You know what I'm talking about? That guy. Admiral. That guy, yeah. Admiral. Uh, that's Admiral no, Akbar. No, that's Admiral. I, I should have... I recognized your foul stench when I was brought on board. Yes. Admiral. Blah, blah, blah. Shit. I know this. It's all, it's all good, bro. It doesn't matter. God damn it. Not that guy. That's the younger guy. Isn't that no, the younger guy? No, because... Uh, um, because Princess Leia is between him and Darth Vader. That's right. And correct. Yes. She's pushed into yeah. him. Yes. As they blow up Alderaan. That's correct. No. Yeah. Oh, fuck. What uh, the fuck? Alderaan will make a quite good test. Yes. Watch. Correct. Test Admiral. Star. It doesn't matter, bro. We'll get to it. Sure. Cover it up. So go ahead and start with you. Uh, so your first one. I was way off, obviously. Yeah. I, I like that I'm way off. Yeah, I would have picked. For you, I would have picked uh, Mr. Anderson for sure. And I did not choose Mr. Anderson, sir. Okay, who do you think for me real quick? Before Jaws. We... Nope. Jaws. Um, give it a shit. Yeah, just pick one more. Predator. Okay, those are good choices. They're not. They're humans. But anyway. Number one. Number one, sir. Give it Give it to us. We still don't have a drum roll yet, do we? Shit. Shooter McGavin. Shooter. From Happy Gilmore. I eat pieces of shit like you for breakfast. You eat pieces of shit for breakfast? No. <laughs> I, I love the fact that he's... I love that we just did that. I, I love I, you. I, I love the fact that Shooter, obviously he's he's the main villain in the movie that, that Happy's trying to beat in all these tournaments. And then towards the end of the movie, he's Shooter's trying to emulate happy's driving style and he's in like the forest alone trying to emulate that <laughs> yeah trying to do the run and he's the trying run up, to the driving run. style of yeah. him yes and i that's why that's that's why i picked him is because he realizes that this younger guy that is a hockey player has the better of him in that scene he's and getting that's, up on him he's yeah. like and that's he realizes that oh shit i'm in trouble yeah and i thought that and that's why i picked him is because the dude realizes he's He's fucked, right? Yes. And, there, and obviously the movie's amazing, and it's funny, and, and it's stupid comedy, right? Right. But uh, when the, he bribes the guy, you go, hey, shooter, uh, you want to go Red Lobster? Uh, my treat. I got a coupon. So, and then uh, the, the guy, <laughs> oh, yeah. shooter, want to go Red Lobster? I got a, it's my treat. And then uh, when the ball oh, lands on the, on the guy from Moonraker's shoe, um, and he says, you got to play it where it lies, shooter. Yep. I'll meet you later in the parking lot. I'll meet you in the parking lot. Doesn't he like, and he taps him in the fucking chest. Yeah. With his finger. It is funny. Cause you're right. He kind of tries to change to stay relevant. Right. Or whatever. Yeah. And he is just a douchebag and total. you love golf. So yeah, it's, he's a total idiot. He's a total So is your asshole. other one Don Johnson? No, absolutely not. 
Of the golf ones, I probably no. But I love Shooter McGavin because it's such shooter. a funny. It's he's such a dipshit. It is, and he's such. And a, I like, like his car- the that guy. stupid shooter move that he does. Yeah, the guy who he, plays him when he sinks a putt. He's yeah. such an asshole, and it's such. It's so terrible with the guns. You know, with the little as Mark is doing the fingers at me right now. I'm like, I need oxygen again. <laughs> As uh, Mark is currently on IMDb looking for the Admiral from Star Wars. I think it's a general. Is it a general? I could be general. wrong. General Dodonna? No. General Willard? No. Uh, whatever. He was Keep the going, main man. boardroom scene, Grand too. Moff Tarkin? There you go. There general Tarkin. Grand, Moff, rec- Grand Moff Tarkin. I should have recognized your Get foul right, stance bro. when I came on board. Ne- no the top need. left picture. We will handle your little rebel army, but Alderaan will make a quite good demonstration for a death star yeah so shooter that's a great movie i could i have that on laser disc by the way of course you do i also have billy madison on laser disc yeah my dad but happy and billy happy madison productions yeah that was the heyday of of adam sandler yeah and he was funny shooter was fucking great man I, you can't have I, a happy I, gilmore sh- without Shooter McGavin. Absolutely not. And the dumbest name ever. His name is Shooter. Yeah, and you so need... Stupid. Right, and the whole point is like, it's like Dick Trickle. Yes. From <laughs> Cow, let me add a caco. Like, Dick Trickle is like a real race car driver, but like Cole Trickle from Days of Thunder. It's like a fucking made up, but it sounds like it would be a race car driver's yeah. name. Like a... Let me clarify. A NASCAR driver's name. Whereas Shooter McGavin sounds like a PGA douchebag. It totally does. Yeah. Shooter McGavin. Almost sounds as bad, as good as Lefty. <laughs> it I don't does. I talk about that guy. But, uh, all right. I like it. I like it. Thank you. My first choice, sir. Please, lay it on me. I told you about Kubrick, and I probably gave it away because I told, I did by process of elimination. Elimination. It's going to be Alex from Clockwork Orange, played by Malcolm motherfucking McDowell. Yeah. We were the drogues, and we went to the milk bar. Singing in the rain, rain. And he just kicks the dude. Remember, he breaks into the house. Yes. And then, are you ready for the fucking trivia of all trivias, my friend? Sure. So Malcolm McDowell is just creepy in that, right? He's bad. And they fucking cl- open his eyes and they make him watch all that ultraviolence, whatever. Yeah. Do you remember when he's in the rain and he knocks on the same door that he raped the wife and beat the guy up and put him in the wheelchair? Yeah. Okay. Do you know the member? Remember the caretaker in that? Yeah. The guy who was lifting away the big dude who carried the guy, put him in his wheelchair and rolled him up and yeah. all that. Do you know who that was? Debo. His name is David Prowse. Do you know who David Prowse is? No. The physical body of who? The best villain of all times? Darth motherfucking Vader. No way. Yep. There's a direct connection. Shut the hell up. Clockwork Orange came out in 71. I had no idea. I, I found this out yesterday by doing, just by looking this shit up, right? 1971. The, the big bodybuilder guy. He was a bodybuilder. And he was lifting weights when he picked, carried the guy in, and then he put the guy in a wheelchair or whatever. Yeah, he is the physical body of Darth Vader in 77. Wow. Or going forward. Yeah. yeah. He played for three uh, physical th- Darth Vader. Three movies. Yeah. Fucking crazy. And it's connected to one of, it's like one of the best villains of all time. He had no connection with, but he's also plays one of the best villains of all time. And it's connected to one. It's so cool, I thought. Anyway. Absolutely. Just a stupid trivia. Great choice. Thanks, man. Yes. What you got for your second, my friend? Last on my list, sir. A movie we have never once discussed that I really, really like. Which Ever? Ever, ever discussed. Which I probably should have put on my top ten list because I've seen it many times and I always watch it when it's on stupid TV. Have I watched it? I don't know. Does it start with Shaw? And no. it was Shank. There's no Shaw. There is some shanking, but there's no shawing. You're going to say, oh, brother, where art thou? Negative. <sighs> is it another? Is it a? Is it the one where Robert Redford's the no. prisoner? Is it a prison movie? No. You said shanking, so I just made me think. Okay, good. You, you stumped me. I have no fucking clue. Uh, I, I like this movie a lot, and... I smell garlic. You smell garlic? Yeah, it smells fucking good, it smells dude. Delicious. Yeah, I, somebody saw taints of shit. It's almost here. pizza time or whatever. I don't know what time it is. Spaghetti, sure. Turkey burgers, whatever it takes. Turkey burgers, turkey meatloaf, with extra garlic. Yeah. Um, gangs kale of kale and fucking cats. Fuck kale. Fuck kale and cats in movies are the are your villains are bro. the most. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're welcome. I love you, man. That's I know. just the I'm funniest just... fucking thing. Kale. Playing the evil, playing the bad guy, Dr. Kale. Sorry. And Princess okay. Cat. Okay, we're on the final. Princess Kitty. Bill Cuddy, known as the Butcher in Gangs of New York. That is Daniel Day motherfucking Lewis. That is character. correct, sir. We have never. We've never, ever, ever talked about that movie. I love that movie. And I, I should have put it in my top 10. I did not. And it was right there on the cusp. But he is As one of my favorite. The, the top hat that he wears. He's always got a knife. And I, I love the fact. Yes, he's the villain. But he always respected his enemies like he kills the priest quote unquote um at the beginning of the movie he always respected that guy because he was always honorable and he was always a good nemesis right. and i really thought that was cool yeah he was a badass yeah there's an honor among thieves in a, in a and way i thought that that part of the character i thought was really cool and he obviously was a he was a he was a terror right and he right. killed a bunch of people for no reason because he was greedy and a horrible terrible person that's a phenomenal choice um i own gangs of new york of course you do it's great hold on i, yeah. I need to please please before you before you like whoa and pull it out start going at it no uh, i've never watched it what yeah so i i know it's long it, it's, it's like two, two and a half to three. No, it's like no, no. It's three. probably two fifteen. That's it. Okay, so yeah, it's, it's, it's not, not as that, long as I thought. I no. thought it was longer. First of all, so I, maybe I misunderstood, but I never watched it when it was out. Okay, and the last five years, I've gone through a pretty big change in my life. Like yeah, we, we talked about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very hard for me to to watch like su like uber violence. Like, well, like I can't. I don't even know if I could watch Clockwork Orange and and all that. But that opening scene, I had to stop it. I just got, it was just overwhelming to me. It's very, I'm not, very graphic. Right, I'm not saying that I'm like a wimp by any means. I'm just, it's just not my interest. In, I, my, my filter has changed. You yeah. Know, I, I perceive the world differently. And I think that watching that is kind of toxic for me. I'm, okay. I'm not trying to be a little bitch about it. No, I'm just I understand. being honest. Like, so I watched it when they, it was only maybe six months ago when I first put it on and saw, saw like 10 minutes in, I'm like, how much more is this part going to be? And then whatever. Like, I think I could watch Saving Private Ryan again, but that is really hard to watch the first 20 fucking minutes. It is. Of. It's brutal. It is the guy picking up his fucking arm and yeah. walking to somebody going, hey. And it's his arm. Yeah. Uh, just So did you finish Gangs in New York no, or not? Okay. I, I stopped about 10, 15 minutes in and okay. I, I just stopped. I know it's good. Daniel Day Lewis is fucking amazing. I will, I've seen him in uh, There Will Be Blood. Yeah, oh, Milk yeah. Milkshake. Yeah. Fuck, no, he is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Please. No, yeah, I thought it was Blood for Oil, but some. But I think you're right. But there Will Be Blood. There Will Be Blood, I think, is yeah, what yeah, it's yeah. called. But anyway, that milkshake, I sucked it under your ground. Like, he's just, he's he's the method actor. Like, that he's oh, not yeah. dead. Lincoln, he, dude. Right. Heath Ledger dies. But fucking Day, Day Lewis and Christian Bale are still alive. That's pretty shocking because they're both excellent, excellent method actors as yes. Ledger was. Yes. Maybe Ledger was just a little too young or just was too into it. I don't know. But fucking Daniel Day Lewis, he scares me as a real human being because how much do the wires have to be crossed for you to be able to play the guys he play? That's a great question, man. Like Nicholson, you have to be. A little bit on kilter, right? Like a little bit? Off kilter, yes, sir. Off kilter? Did yeah, I say on? You did. It's okay. It's like on the wagon, off the wagon. Well, I, I, I don't, forget. I get those it's confused. It's a Seinfeld one. All the wagons. I'm, I, br I, yeah, regardless. Bandwagons, you know, whatever kind of wagons it takes. But he's such a good actor. So tell me more about well, what. Well, perhaps. Tell me, tell me about what you love about him. Like the characters. You said his dress and his decor. Well, and yeah, because it's, it's a period piece. It takes place. In New York City, in the area of Five Points, which is a real place in the city, Irish or Italian? It's it's, it's Irish. It's right? the Irish. It's it's the Irish versus the non-Irish. Right. It's the it's the same story as today. It's the immigrants versus the non-immigrants. It's the people fresh off the boat versus not. And it's um, it's the uh, they come fresh off the boat and they're granted citizenship and they're enlisted into the 
the um, Union Army and they're sent off to war. So I think it's 1863. And then there's riots in New York and uh, they're the President Lincoln sends the uh, National Guard, for lack of a better word, to New York to quell the riots. So it's actually based on actual events. And I said actual too many times in that sentence, which actually, I like. Actually, you didn't. Thank you. I, I, I like the fact that the movie is based on historical events and takes place in a historical place that was real. Yeah. I, I don't know if the characters are real. I don't know if the events of the, the fighting of the gangs was real or not. But the fact that the events of the riots of that time, I like the fact that, that it was based upon actual events. I, I, I like that. And they tried to make the attire of the time accurate. And that, and that part I liked a lot that that's perfect yeah it's a great i agree with you i like i like historical pieces with fiction thrown in because it's like an alternate and it makes you just kind of escape but it, yeah it gives you a little bit about the time yeah and how it could have been different if it went that way for example yes but i think those things were based on true stories i think that probably would have been one of those they had riots and gangs and whatnot yes and they just embellished it but they got pretty bad right i mean oh yeah, riot, yeah there were some especially over work Oh, yeah, like yeah. Putting food on the table. Starvation, family, and right. obviously. And you had families. And you were fucking like bunnies back then. Most people were probably Catholic. They were just banging out kids, like pumping out kids. Oh, yeah, fucking, yeah, right? of course. So you had to take care of your family. And, and on, at that time, women generally didn't work. Not saying that, that that's not a but good thing. But it was 1863. Right, I'm just saying. Million generally, years ago. It was a, the man was the one who brought home. Of course. Who had to work. So yes. working was like the thing that everyone had to do. That's what you did. And it, work. Yes, and it's the same as... It's the same as today. There was the rich and there was the poor. It's really amazing how nothing's changed. And I, I hope maybe someday that you can watch it because it is based on historical facts. So Tell me maybe, about the fight. The first fight. At, at could Maybe I could start it after. Do I need to watch the first riot or that no, first gang fight to really get no, in? I, I just, know what it's like. I well, know that you, it's As long nasty. as you understand that the first fight scene, Liam Neeson dies. That's all you need to know. Okay. And his son is Leonardo DiCaprio. That's all you need to know. Liam Neeson dies in the first fucking scene? Yeah, because he's not the main character. The main character... Right, I get that. ...is, is Leonardo DiCaprio. Right. That's all right. you need that's to know. That's true. Okay, so... So, yeah. Yeah, but I'm saying that's some fucking star stud to kill off the uh, Liam Neeson. Yes, very in, true. like, the first 10 minutes of but the But the movie. rest of the movie is Daniel Day-Lewis and, and Leonardo DiCaprio. And, Air Force uh, One. What fucking... Was that when Kurt, Kurt Russell died mm -hmm. right away, or who died? <laughs> Steven Seagal died in that fucking thing, didn't he? I don't... I don't know. Not Air Force One, executive decision. I whatever. Anyway, <laughs> but well, it's the one which it's a plane, and they board the plane. It's not Air Force One because I think it's Kurt Russell's the president, and Steven Seagal, and then he dies. Like, and you're like, Steven Seagal fucking died in a movie? Like, it was like the only movie I think I've ever seen. Air Force Seagal One died. was Harrison Ford, right? That's why I think it's executive decision. Uh, executive decisions called. when they were on a stealth plane and they docked with Air Force One. Yes, yeah, that was terrible. One. That was awful. It was fucking. But that's wretched. what I'm saying. It's like. Fuck, I think Steven Seagal was in that and he died. And you're like, Steven Seagal's never died in a movie before. I didn't know what to do. How did that happen? Yeah, I didn't know how to take it. I didn't know what to do. Um, yeah, maybe just eat more. I, I don't remember. That's an excellent choice, though. Thank and you. Daniel Day-Lewis. He's the, the butcher. Characters he literally that, is called the butcher because he is a butcher. And the characters that he plays when yeah. he goes dark. And good. I mean, he's both. All, on both sides. But Yeah, Last of the goes, Moccasins. Like, well, I mean, Mohicans. You've got, well, you've got Lincoln and you've got, uh, which was amazing. Right. Lincoln was phenomenal. And then you've got the other one. He's a good guy in my left foot, the pianist. One uh, those, I've not my seen left that. foot. I think, I think my left foot, the pianist, one of those two. I'm fucked up. I don't remember. You're not fucked up. No, I mean, I'm fucked up in my head. I don't remember. Oh, you're just fucked up all the time. Yeah. I'm just <laughs> fucked up all the time. But whichever one it was, it's about, uh, Russia invading Czech Republic or something. And oh. my, my mom was in Germany when it was going on, when the tanks pulled up on the border. Wow. And that was like 68 after they had escaped. It's fucking weird. My mom, I can't wait. I, I do want to get my mom on to do, I want her to tell the whole story, how she came over and all that. Cause on its own is a great story, regardless of the other stuff and the other people involved. This, how I am sitting in this chair across from you is pretty fucking much a miracle. I don't know. Like, that it's in this incarnation specifically. Yeah. Just saying. But anyway, um, there was, that was just a huge movie, but he was a, I mean, good guy in that or something. But when he plays a bad guy, he's has checkmark seen that yet. Checkmark. No scissors. 
Why not? I it's too much trauma. I get I get the TPSD. I get toilet paper stress disorder. <laughs> I know that's not right. Something wrong about that statement. So you get what, butt pee? What I get? P T P T D S P. What is this word? I don't too know. many letters. Yes, it's all the letters all conglomerated. Q P D. Well, I have seven. dyslexia, so oh, like shit. It's t- I have toilet paper or paper towel s- stress disorder. I oh, okay, don't too many. You're, so you don't use brawny? No. Okay. I use uh we use we have Chekhov. <laughs> Chekhov. Literally it is. It's called Chekhov. It's it's paper towel. You you put spill, you wipe, and it check off. It all it comes off. It's wow. check off. Check off. Hashtag check off. And it says nuclear vessel uh, right there at the on bottom. It. Yes. it cleans up nuclear vessel attacks. Like yes. uh, leaks. Is that clean. what they used at uh Yeah, they glow Chernobyl? Yes, the paper the paper towels glow. Yeah, and they 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 glow in the dark, and you hang them very up warm, night, like keep you warm in winter time. They warm, and yeah. you hang them up as night lights, like uh, put stars on on ceilings and Christmas tree lights. Yes, and then you you feel a little warm, and you get red spots, and oh. then you go away. <laughs> then you go away. Then you go away. It's okay. like it's like going to the penalty box, but but different for more than two. Not minutes. Che- not cross checking. It's a different kind of box. Okay. It's more than two minutes. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you this. <laughs> <laughs> two minutes of eternity. Two minutes two until time. Two minutes of eternity. That's beautiful, man. So, yeah. Your Dana final Dana answer, is. sir. Let's hear it. Well, this is. I'm a little upset. Why? I'm just going to tell you right now. Because you got stolen. No, no one chose it. What? And I think that's amazing. But when I tell you who it is, and I. You know who it is, right? You have to know who it is now. I'm sure. I, and when I tell you, you're going to be like, no fucking shit. Like, yeah. that's what I mean. Like, you're going to totally believe me. Okay. There have been there has been one Hans spoken of all day. Gruber. His name was Gruber. Yeah. His name was Gruber. was Hans Gruber. His name was Hans Gruber. Ha ha Hans Gruber. His name was Hans Gruber. <laughs> what if there was a Die Hard musical? Oh my god, Die Hard the shoot musical. Shoot the glass, shoot the glass, shoot the glass, oh, shoot the glass, shoot the glass. Shoot, shoot the glass. Glass on the ground, make your feet go fast. I don't fucking know. Dude, that your feet are bleeding. Die bleeding, Hard bleeding. the musical. Your feet are bleeding, bleeding, bleeding. They say to come to town, come in the country, hang out. It'll be just fine. What's that part? Is it What's come the, in, take, hang out, take hang. a day off, keep a couple weeks off, come over, enjoy the East Coast, the West Coast, you have some sun. Take your shoes off. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, don't forget to follow them in a circle now and walk across that carpet. Follow them <laughs> in a circle now, walk across the carpet. I wish you guys could see Mark <laughs> moving his feet. Thank God we don't have in video the right air yeah. with no okay. shoes on. So there's a Hans that no, of, of whom no one spoke. Yes. It was Colonel. Hans oh, yes. Lanza. God, how did I not From think of that? From Inglorious Motherfucking Bastards, Dude, man. he's so good. The, the milk scene in the French countryside. He fucking starts oh, by pulling up to a farm. Yeah. It's a simple farm, and you don't even know where it's at yet. You know nothing. It's not. It's Nazis, so you're like, okay, it's probably Europe. It's maybe probably Germany. Bad stuff. I think it's France or I or, believe it's or, France or yeah. something like that. Because they're speaking, yeah, because they're speaking French, right? And he he's says, like, "You speak like, American, right? Right?" And, or English, or whatever. He's like, "What? It, what? It, blah, blah, blah. Would you like me to speak in French?" Right. And is it Ray Donovan? It looks like Ray Donovan almost that the guy is, but it's not. The, it the, does, the farmer, yeah. But it's not him. It's a, like a likeness almost. And they're hiding Jews in the ba- underneath, right in the basement. <laughs> And he just comes up, can I have a glass of milk? And it's a farm, right? It's like yeah. a, a dairy farm or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, can I offer you milk? Blah, blah, blah. Get her thing. And it's like everything's like a little tenacious, right? Of course, they're Nazis. And the dude's the dude's looking like, I know I'm hiding people. Does he know I'm hiding people? Or is he just here? Like, there's that whole cat and mouse. Yeah. Just in that first five. And he just acts like he's checking, just hanging out. I I heard you were hiding some people. No, you know, just whatever. And then they fucking run, and he just one shot, whatever. It's fucking diabolical. And then, but like most Germans are seen as like savages, like like Nazi Germans are like torture people, right? Like yeah, they're the guy who strapped the fucking car battery to your nipples and like the fucking punch you and they beat you, like big broody, like the bad guy wasn't He's an not intelligent like that. right. This guy was eloquent and classy and well spoken, multilingual. Yeah. Where well, you could speak Italian, French. Do you remember when he was talking? I'm I'm Aldine Bodak. English. Grassi. Right. <laughs> remember when fucking <laughs> my ta- my Italian's okay. When fucking Brad Pitt's like Grazzi. 
you know, right. whatever. And, yeah. And the guy's like, ba -da -da -ba -da -da -ba -da. and he's like, what the fuck? He, and then he sees the Fräulein and with the broken foot and he sees the shoe in the bar and he go and he has it in his bag. Can you open up this bag, please? And show me what you have inside here. And she takes out the shoe and it's her shoe that she dropped in the bar when she got shot in the foot in the leg. Yes. And she said she had a ski accident or whatever. Yeah. And he's just like, he just fucking just let her unravel it all. Like put it all together. He, yeah. She knows she's going to fucking die. Right. And she doesn't know how. And he just fucking strangles her. With fucking bare hands. He's just fucking just... Like, you have to be a psychopath to kill I, someone with your bare fucking hands. I think he just solved a problem like Maria. <laughs> he did. Maria Hutzberg. I don't know what her fucking name was. Heimer Schmidt. Heimer Schmidt, yeah. John Jacob. Jingle yes. Heimer. Yes. John He's, Jacob's second cousin. And Christoph Waltz just has this such a pleasant voice. And he loves his strudel. Who doesn't? Uh, 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 I don't, he's just so fucking diabolical. And then he turns. He fucking, he knows that the Nazis are going to lose and he sells them out. So he's a fucking double villain. But they don't let him go. They carve that fucking swastika in his head before he fucking let him go. Oh, fucking, I love that. Just justice. The best, right? Man, but he was so fucking just, that, those are the people that you need to be scared of. The guys, the the lifted truck, gun shooting, toting fuckers are not the guys. I'm sorry about whom you the worry. Gun, the lifted truck, gun, flag flying, gun toters. You know it. The lifted truck, gun, gun toting, toting motherfuckers, motherfuckers, flag flying motherfuckers. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Look, I know. I have friends who have lifted trucks who fly flags and shoot guns. Hell, I shoot. I I I like all those things. I don't have an issue with that. I'm just telling you that guy is not the enemy. If that was your enemy, that's not the enemy you'd be worried about. You'd be worried about this motherfucker. The quiet ones. The is fucking that what you're smart saying? one. The fuck. The guy who's classy because he already reads you like a fucking book. He knows exactly what you're gonna do, and he knows what he's gonna do with you. He's scary, dangerous, and that he was just so. Ugh. I don't even know how to explain. If you have not seen Inglorious Bastards, that movie it's very good. Is fucking amazing. So it you really you'd is. say he's cold and calculating. Absolutely. And psychopath how can he look at his job so fucking black and white yet speak so such beautiful languages and know about art and culture? Like you want to talk about the di the dichotomy of the human being. That's, he was Yeah. He's both absolute evil and pure fucking genius and art and he's culture it's all he is all of humanity rolled into one person that's what i feel like when i see him yeah and you go in and if you knew like i am sure that you know people had to meet like hitler and had diplomatic conversations right at some point where you weren't killing them right obviously of course Meeting someone like that, you'd just be like, fuck, I, I don't, I, yeah, we need, we need a better leader because this guy's going to kick our ass. Like, I don't know. It just feels like that's what it is. Like, he would be so a ahead of you and on every leg. Like, no, that's the thing is like, you know, he did these bad things. That's what I, that was my point. Yes. You know, he did these horrible things. Yet you talk to him and at the end of the night, you're, you love him because he's just so like warm and like, thank you so much for coming to our house today. We're so glad to have you. Like, but he, you know, he fuck, he's the, you know, the butcher of whatever. He's the killer of all, but he's just so eloquent. When you talk to him, you, he just disarms you. He's disarming, charming and eloquent and just all that. So one side he's the angel of death and the other side, he's classy and brilliant and charming. Yeah. And if you, and depending on what side you get, is who you label him as. Like you would never think of him as a monster. Have you talked to him in the restaurant when he ordered his strudel? Right. With his cream. Exactly right. Never. You'd be like, wow, this guy's on the wrong side. I hope I can get his, him to change his mind. That would be nice. You or know what if, I mean? Like, cause he's a Nazi. So you're yeah. like, I, I hope he's not a Nazi. Well, how is this guy a Nazi? He's so well-spoken and, and speaks of like love and art and just beautiful things. So but in that farmhouse in the French countryside, he asks for a glass of milk and he's having a pleasant conversation with them. If they weren't hiding anybody, 
they had nothing to worry about. Right. They were completely, they would be completely safe. Right. And everything would have been fine. Correct. But because they were breaking the German laws. And he was known as a Jew hunter. He, I mean, that was, he, and the guy already knew that he already knew they were breaking the law. Right. He knew that they were there. Already. Yeah. Like he, there was a, and I think he that's was toying the with them. Right. Like he was the puppet master. And, and I that's, think he, that's terrifying. What's crazy is I think he got a pleasure out of that. Part Obviously. Of that fucking dangling yeah, of the carrot. He was fucking or the, with them, dude. Yeah, he, okay, so there it the was mic. foreplay, dude. It was. It was foreplay. It was. He, pro- yeah. I mean, th- how else would you yeah, describe man. it? I. He asked for the glass of milk. He asked, "Which language do you want to talk in?" He had. A, they talked for a few was, minutes. He was jerking them around. He was so fucking with them, like you knew. He w- he probably had a boner. Yeah, he did, and you know that the farm guy knew. Like the second exactly. he pulled up, he's like, "We're fucked." Yes. Because he knew it was a Jew hunter. Like, yeah, remember he goes, correct. you might know my reputation, I think yes, he even says. Like, like I'm yeah. known as a Jew hunter. And I hunt Jews. Yeah, it's don't like, run. Fuck. Don't run, you dipshit. Well, yeah, but they were, they knew that they were in the floorboards. Remember, they shot up the floorboards and then the one got out. Yeah. So they were, if she stayed there, she would have been shot up. So her trying to get out of that. Right? Do you remember what I'm yes, talking about? Yes, I do. Absolutely. Yeah. So basically, the, two, the the goons, what I, you know, his yeah, the, henchmen. The guys with the machine guns. The ones who aren't Christoph Waltz. Correct. The guy who we see every Nazi as. Yes. Like just this fucking, like, knuckle dragging, mouth breathing, yeah. breeding fucking. Yeah. The machine you know, gunners. Yeah. You know, I'm bad. Not Christoph Waltz, man. That fucking guy was. And it's it seemed like at the up, at the higher levels. And I don't know. I didn't live in that time, but Hitler was going off the rails. His advisors were highly intelligent. Would, was he on the crazy train? He he was on the loco loco. Yes, <laughs> look the loco locomotive. <laughs> yes. Well, he was. I don't know if you heard the stories about him being on like meth and shit, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. So there's there's a lot of that. Many at, drugs. Many drugs. Allegedly had Parkinson's, from what I heard. Oh shit! I know there's. That. I, I've heard a lot of different things over the years, and more comes out obviously as we find out more. Holy shit! What two thirty four? Yeah, bro. God damn! I know. You, is, was that your cue cutting us out? But no, th- I just was <laughs> shocked. <laughs> yeah, we can whittle it down to two thirty three or so. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll chop. Uh, Look, let me do a little editing. We'll get 234 and a half down to 233.46. How about that? Sold. We'll, get, we'll cut 44 seconds out of this bitch. Um, no, uh, but uh, like if they had listened to his advisors, the, the the military guys, the Rommels and the whatever, if they didn't, yeah. if they weren't all in the occult and all that crazy shit they got into, yeah. like that, that was a, that was a fucking danger to like, if they stopped at France and didn't go into Russia. Yeah. Don't go to Russia, stupid. Yeah, they got a little fucking stupid. Well, you know, do you know that story behind Hitler? What what happened? What ultimately was really the turning point of it? We should say that for another podcast. Yeah, let's save it for another podcast. But basically, Hans Lander, two Hanses. Yes. Only one Darth. <laughs> yes. No Maul. One Dark. Dark. One Darth. One Darth, one Dark. Yes. yes. Interesting. So, well, that's and been And one our- Bill. This has been our villains. I do have one more. I totally forgot. Yes. I do one have One additional honorable Rob. mention. Who? Rob wanted to share. This is my friend Rob. Yeah, Ward. yeah. He wanted to share too, and I have them, and I pulled them up, and I swear I pasted them somewhere, but I hope he doesn't get mad at me. So, are you ready? Yes. All right, sir. Get your rust to moss. No, I don't know where it's at, so I'm going to have to find it. But I love, I love looking this shit up while we're talking about it. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Yep. The first one is Hans Gruber. So, it's another Hans Gruber. Yeah. Class, 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 this, class, class, class. And we're going to close it on this guy. Yeah. Because I, I certainly do not. I want to end. Let's go, uh, what's it? Last but not least kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Another, we talked about, I believe it was um, Hitchcock. We yeah. We talked about a Hitchcock movie. Right. Which Hitchcock movie did we speak? Psycho, Psycho. Norman Bates, right? Yeah. This is, I, I'm going to guess is in the vein. There was a movie called North by Northwest. There was. And the bad guy, my friend Rob, cho- chose was Philip Van Dam. Okay. 
I'm going to read it real quick. Philip Van Damme, the villain in this film, is a mysterious character until his true identity is revealed. Van Damme is subtle, soft-spoken, and relatively even-keeled. However, under this calm veneer, he's a ruthless man, willing to kill if necessary to get what he wants. Sounds like um, sounds like Hans. Sounds like all of our sounds killers. Sounds like all of our killers. Bardain, all of them. Yeah. Well, that's been it, man. Yay! We got through it. We had a shit ton of uh, inputs. Hello, Twitter world. Please subscribe, follow, rate, review. You know we've had like a like thirty three hundred downloads and twenty seven review uh, rates on on uh, Apple. Excellent. Can we get that up a little bit? Maybe. Yeah. Bump- I like to play the ten percent rule. Okay. I like to think that we would that ten one of every ten people click on the stars or the thumbs up or down. Okay. And that work on our YouTube channel. We have about six hundred forty some views and about sixty some likes. So it's right in that range. But we've like. I'm going to say like hundreds, like five, probably a good thousand or so is Apple and only 27 rates. So please, if you could, or rate us on any platform. Yeah. Rate on. us, subscribe, download, please. Yeah. Go on uh beergoogles.com. Not conscious.com. Double E. Double O. Double G. Yeah. Go beergoogles.com. Not conscious.com. Go to the same site on the right hand side on a web, on a web browser on your computer or on the bottom on a phone. It gives you all the links to all the platforms. Everybody's like, where's my Spotify link? It's there. Where's my Apple link? Boom. Google. Boom. Alexa, play Knocked Conscious Podcast. See how that works, sir? Yeah. You like that? I love They're it. They're going to hate us. I love you, bro. Love you, too. Happy shared birthday, man. What up? That's why we had to make this extra special. Yeah. Um, I actually have a gift for you, but it's not here. Two champion. It'll be... Probably present. Should I present it tomorrow, or should we present it? Should, on uh, our, should we wait until our, your birthday gift arrives? To our, to our day. Oh, are we having that? Yeah, yeah. Because yours might that. not arrive till after your real birthday. Oh, perfect. Because well, I didn't order them till yesterday, and they're coming from they the Czech Republic multitude. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, so let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> when you get when you get your gift, yeah, let me know, and then we'll let's go into my podcast. House? Well, won't we do it on the podcast? Don't we want a gift? Have, oh yeah, yeah, sure. That's a podcast. great idea. I love yeah, it. Yeah, I think we need okay. to do it. So we'll, we'll schedule a podcast after because you know there's only few that we're going to do left. Right, we're done after like twenty or thirty more of these, or like eight thousand uh, of them. Eighteen thousand. <laughs> now we're going to keep doing it. Um, I like to give a sh- couple shouts out. Yeah. So um, our friend Tatiana on the Twitter world in yeah. the Twitterverse, Tatiana uh, finally had the courage to listen to the Catholic Church oh, podcast. Canada. So thank you for having the courage to listen. That was I. Arguably the hardest thing we've ever had to talk about. I rough. said real quick, 8,000 times and we're no, going to make t-shirts. it's like 6,200. Um, the truth is like, that was so hard. And in it's really weird. The other shout out to Elisa again. Elisa uh, had has been very active on the Twitter, been liking our stuff. So thank you, Elisa. And she was, she mentioned something about the rawness of that podcast. And it was. I, we, I, in a weird way, I felt, weirdly oddly bad that we weren't more polished i agree but elisa made a great point today she's like well it's about as raw as fuck so uh, maybe we would have lost the rawness if we had the polish so it is what it is dude it's just real let's put it that way it's about as real as a podcast can be and thank thank you to everyone who's listened please please follow us subscribe Rate review. We we are so grateful. We we have thirty over thirty five hundred downloads. We're gonna be at five thousand in like three four months. I, wildest dreams. Never would have guessed a hundred fucking downloads. No joke. So thank you and Chris, sir. Happy shared birthday to you also, Tambian. Yes, thank Tambien. you for doing this with me. Thank like, you. I. I'm, I feel less complete. I've done a couple of these without you. Like you, with Jerry other McGuire, the shit out of me, dude. But you complete. I'm you, Renee. I'm Renee Zellweger. Bro. You had me at Ola. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chexican, Chrisican, Chrisican, Chrisexican. Chris Chris we're up. We're out of here, bitches. Can you can you can you close it out while I hit the music? I I want- <laughs>